Dragons. Now let's send it to the broadcast booth with the voice of the River Dragons, Tom Callahan. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Columbus River Dragons Hockey. I'm Tom Callahan. Thanks for joining me as we're getting ready to go here this evening. The River Dragons back home on a Saturday and a Sunday evening here. And you know what? No Friday game. In fact, the River Dragons haven't played since last Friday. Yeah, it's been a little bit of time off for this Columbus hockey team, but well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not a good thing. We're going to ask head coach Jerome Bichard his thoughts on that a little bit later on in this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. But the River Dragons do come into this one sitting high atop not only the division, but also the FPHL standings. First in the Continental, first in the FPHL. They are 31 4, 3 3 and 1 on the year, 104 points. Now, that puts them ahead of the Carolina Thunderbirds, who this past weekend also clinched a playoff spot. Carolina 25, 11, 2, 4, 3. They have 91 points. And the Thunderbirds, that 15-point gap with the River Dragons coming into tonight. And also, by the way, Carolina, 45 games played to the 42 the River Dragons have played. And so Columbus has a little bit of extra space on them. But uh, just to kind of teach you the math, the way we figure out how the River Dragons can close out the Continental Division, you take the maximum number of points Carolina can get. And in the FPHL, you can get three points for a regulation win. So in a 56-game season, 11 games left for Carolina, you would multiply that by three. That'll give you 33. 33 plus 91. Do a little bit of the math there. And so 33 plus that 91 points, and that's going to give you 124. That is the maximum total points that Carolina can manage on the season. Columbus to lock out Carolina and not worry about any of the head-to-head -head tie breaks or any of that nonsense. They have to get just one more point than that. So 21 points to really lock out Carolina, 20 if it comes down to tie breaks. But the River Dragons at 104 can get to 107 here tonight with a regulation win. And that's how you compute how they would close that gap down. Now, Binghamton, on the other hand, in the Empire Division, and they have clinched a spot in the postseason and locked out. Well, they haven't locked anybody out yet. To be, we'll get to that in a second. Elmira and Watertown are still four points apart, so one of them could leapfrog the other, but they have clinched their playoff position. So what the River Dragons now want to focus on, too, is so Binghamton has 43 games left. So again, 56 game season, so that's 39 total possible points. For Binghamton, you add the 39 onto the 95, and then it tells you that the River Dragons, if you're gonna fast forward the math a little bit here, 30 points to lock out Binghamton. And that's what Columbus wants to accomplish here. Now the River Dragons have played 42 games so far. They're at a point right now where they have a few more home games than road games. They have a little bit of a difficult stretch coming up here. As far as being away, they have a road trip to Michigan on Easter weekend. That's not going to be the easiest swing for them. They're going to go to Port Huron, then to Motor City, back to Port Huron on that Saturday and travel home on Easter Sunday. So that's going to be a difficult swing and one to underline. And don't forget the final weekend of the regular season. They go head-to-head -head with the Carolina Thunderbirds in a series that could determine, you know, some playoff position, but also could determine whether or not the River Dragons lock up the FPHL, lock up the Continental Division. Now, I don't think it'll come to that, but it could. And if it does, the last game of the regular season is here at home, and that's going to be on April 13th on Fan Appreciation Night as the River Dragons will be here at home against the Carolina Thunderbirds. That is also our last family four-pack night. Tonight is our second-to-last family four-pack night. And, of course, that's brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland and Kissin' 99.3. If you want to pick up your seats for that final family four-pack, you can only do that through the River Dragons office, but what a great deal. Just $40 gets you four tickets to a game, and it also gets you four hot dogs, four popcorn, four Pepsi products, four Chick-fil-A coupons all for just $40. One more game to go, and that is April 13th. It's Fan Appreciation Night. There's going to be prizes, giveaways, all kinds of fun autographed items. It's a game you're not going to want to miss. And plus, it's against those arch rivals, the Carolina Thunderbirds. Coming into tonight, I haven't even talked about the Baton Rouge Zydeco, tonight's opponent, but there's a lot on the plate of the River Dragons, so you can forgive me for that if you will. But the Zydeco are having a tough season. They're still mired in last place in the Continental Division. They're at 33 points on the year, 929, 4-1-0. And those 33 points, unfortunately for Baton Rouge, they and Withville have been locked out of the postseason. 
So Baton Rouge, at this point, a little bit of rearranging chairs, trying to figure out where they're going to go and uh, what they want to do with personnel moving forward. And so we're going to continue to see some of that here tonight. Their new head coach or newer head coach, Everett Thompson, has been suspended for a game. Tonight's a game he's going to miss. So they have, you know, no... Not that they have no direction. Yes, they have a coach here tonight, but uh, missing your head coach, trying to forge a new identity, trying to forge a new direction. You know, there's a, a lot of things that this Zydeco team has had to battle through this year, and credit to them. They still give the River Dragons and every other team a difficult time, but Columbus has had their way with the Zydeco. They're 10-1 in the season series. Keep that in mind, though, because the Zydeco are one of only three teams that has beaten the River Dragons at all this season. So that is something to keep uh, kind of there in the mindset for the River Dragons. Hey, you don't want to take these guys too lightly. They can beat you. You do not want to let them get in this building and get in your head here on a Saturday evening game. There are still seats available. If you want to come down and join us at the Columbus Civic Center, we would absolutely love to have you. We're going to work our way through this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We do indeed have our chat coming up with River Dragons head coach Jerome Boom Boom B. Shark, so stay tuned for that. Plus, we also have our Zumo Zip in out of town scoreboard. And coming up next, we're going to get inside the numbers a little bit, tell you about that record streak that continues. If you don't know about it, you will learn about it on the other side of the break. So stay tuned. There's plenty more coming your way. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories, unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25, only at Applebee's. Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Com. And we are back in the Air Force Seating and Air pregame show. Tom Callahan here with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Fans, don't forget your free digital program for every home game is available at rdragons.com. Just Head right on there, and you can click on the box. You can either download it, or you can just view it on your... As a matter of fact, if you're at the game, there's QR codes, too. You can scan it with your portable device, have it right there on your phone, on your tablet, however you like, rdragons.com, or if you're here in the arena, you can scan one of those very convenient QR codes. River Dragons Hockey is brought to you in part by Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons, by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons, by Zelmo Zip in the official fuel provider of the River Dragons, and of course Air Force Heating and Cooling, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons, and bringing you tonight's pregame show. So the River Dragons and the Zydeco finishing up warm-ups right now down there on the ice as they are preparing to head off River Dragons in the fifth anniversary teals here on a Saturday evening in the Zydeco and the White Road jerseys. And Columbus, a couple of moves this week, and, you know, it's so funny. It feels like forever since you and I have talked River Dragons fans because Columbus 
we had a trade deadline go by. That was on Monday. Then there were some moves this week as well and a new player coming into the fold. Let's talk about those first because it was a busy week on the transaction wire and a player retired. And we say farewell to Ryan Gill, uh, probably I mean, one of the nicest guys I've had the pleasure of meeting in this Columbus organization, but the Huntington Beach, California native, spending his whole pro career with the River Dragons, 55 games, three goals, 14 assists, 17 points overall, and uh, he elected to retire, step away from the game. So we wish uh, Ryan the best in his upcoming opportunities here outside the world of hockey, but I'll tell you what, just uh, absolutely one of the, the nicest guys you're going to meet on a team of nice guys. And so we definitely wish Ryan Gill the best in his retirement. But as we check the transaction wire as well, that's where things really kind of get interesting here this week. So a lot of teams were making deals ahead of Monday's deadline. The River Dragons were no exception. They make two trades, don't bring any players back. But with the 19-man roster limit this year, that's one of the things the River Dragons have been very focused on because they felt like they needed the roster space and then, of course, Gil retiring. Uh, but for Columbus, down the stretch, they don't want to have to worry about managing bodies, getting guys into the rotation, and so they end up trading goaltender Taylor Joseph to the Danbury Hattricks. And Joseph, uh, I know it was I had a chance to say goodbye to him. It was an emotional goodbye, but he's going to Danbury in an interesting situation for T. Joe going up there. We wish him all the best of luck, especially because he played for Binghamton last year and now has a chance with Danbury to derail Binghamton, whereas it was Danbury that did it last year to uh, Taylor Joseph. So kind of an interesting situation for him to be going into. A lot of mixed emotions, but uh, wish him all the best. And then Carson Andrioli. Goes to the Blue Ridge Bobcats. What does he do? He scores in his first game for Blue Ridge. So congratulations, Carson. Great job. And uh, definitely hope he gets plenty of playing time in Blue Ridge and look forward to the opportunity of, you know, perhaps there's a spot for him here next year. But uh, either way, good to see Carson get a chance with Blue Ridge. So the rest of the uh, week, those are the two trades the River Dragons made. Both of those returns were future considerations. So Columbus doesn't bring anyone back for either one of those two players. And again, with an eye towards trying to keep that roster under the 19-man limit. They do activate Jay Krupp, and uh, Krupp, who had been inactive, had done some assistant coaching. It's, you know, played on and off this year. I think sporadically might be the right word, uh, but he is now in the lineup and will play here tonight as he jumps back in. Last time he played, as a matter of fact, was on military appreciation. I'd had a goal and an assist on that evening, but he'll jump out from behind the bench. For the Zydeco, They've made a couple of signings, but want to talk about with Everett Thompson suspended for tonight's game, the head coach, Don Lewis ends up behind the bench as the head coach there. And so it gets a little interesting from there. So Lewis will be coaching. Then they bring in Richie Jordan. They have Don Carter Jr. return from the IR. And uh, I, I like Don Carter Jr. I think he's a pretty scrappy, tough little player. Like to see him out there for them. Elias Thompson signed with the Zydeco after coming over. Matthew Bazrin. I know that's a player that uh, River Dragons fans love to hate, but Bazrin has been released on waivers by the Zydeco coming into this game, so that is a big one as well. The other move to talk about for the River Dragons coming into tonight's game is they bring in Hunter Verostek. Now, Verostek just finished up a five-year career at Liberty University ACHA men's D1 team. He comes in now to the River Dragons and Verostek, who played very well with that Liberty University team. They finished seventh in the nation this year, uh, had a chance to make a run in that ACHA men's tournament. He will dress as the backup to Brendan Colgan because the River Dragons earlier this week loaned William Lavalier to Orlando of the ECHL. So the Solar Bears needed a goaltender, and Lavalier uh, heads over to Orlando. And we're expecting Lavalier back probably this weekend. Uh, but, of course, you know, we'll, we'll know when we see the whites of his eyes. But in the meantime, Verostek, who took his rookie lap by himself out there, they shoved him out the gate first. And as is the tradition in hockey when it's your first pro game, out the door you go, by your lonesome. And, uh, well, Verostek did. He circled the zone by himself. And then the River Dragons came out, led by Brendan Colgan, who will be the starting goaltender here tonight. So that brings you up to date on the transactions and everything that happened this week for the River Dragons. 
And we're going to talk a little bit about the streak that Justin McDonald is on when we come back. Plus, we've got a Zelmo's zip-in out-of-town scoreboard to get to. So stay tuned. There's plenty more coming your way here in just a moment. We'll be back with more. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Egg and cheese biscuit and simply orange juice on the Chick fil A app. Real guests paid for their testimonials. And we are back here in the Air Force Seating and Air pregame show. Tom Callahan here with you. Wanted to talk a little bit before we get to that out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo Zippin about the uh, just incredible streak that Justin McDonald remains on for this River Dragons hockey team. J-Mac has, I mean, been an incredible addition to this team no matter how you slice it. You look at what he's done this year right now. He's leading the league in a lot of categories, including points with 92, assists with 61. Uh, he's first in plus minus with an incredible plus 53. And plus minus is the measure of how many goals you have scored five on five, four and against you. Uh, so it, it doesn't include special teams, doesn't include power play, which he's been very good on the power play as well. But McDonald's streak just continues on. And for McDonald now, Boy, an incredible spot for him to be in as uh, every game he goes out there, records another point, it's a new league record. He broke the league record around 20 games. Now he's up to 32 straight games with a point. That dates all the way back to December 1st. A point in every game since December 1st. Over that stretch, 27 goals, 46 assists, 73 points just over the course of the streak. And, of course, as I told you, leading the league in assists, plus minus points. He is also second in game winning goals with eight points per game at 2.2. He's just having an absolutely monster season. And uh, boy, if you're new to the River Dragons, if you're not familiar with this team or this league, watch number seven in Teal when he's out there. McDonald is a huge difference maker. We already talked about some of the changes coming in uh, for the River Dragons, for the Zydeco as well. And uh, I'll tell you what, the Zydeco, a little bit of a rough stretch here. They come in after losing three in a row. But that was after they beat Carolina in two of three last weekend. And now one of those games was the infamous bus breaking down game for the Carolina Thunderbirds. They put six guys on a plane, shipped them off, and then they kind of cobbled together the rest of a squad and actually still managed to give the Zydeco a game. But then the Zydeco beat them in that first game, lost the second, but then won the third on the weekend set when the Thunderbirds did have a full team there. So, you know, it's uh, again, as the Zydeco routine, you cannot look past. And that's something that the River Dragons really have to keep in mind here tonight against 
this Baton Rouge hockey team. And so the expansion, Zydeco, I know, like I say, it's been a little bit of a rough year, but boy, do they have their moments. And when they do, they play some pretty good hockey. So Columbus will need to be on its toes. All right, let's take a look at the Zelmo zip in out of town scoreboard. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. In the league, 10 of 11 teams in action here tonight. Over at Big Boy Arena, the Motor City Rockers out to a 3-0 first period edge over the Port Huron Prowlers. Port Huron had to come back from behind yesterday in the third to beat Motor City, but did. So now Motor City again out to a lead. Will they be able to hold on to it tonight? Well, we'll find out because that game will go final just about when we're in our second period intermission. Late in the first period of First Arena in Elmira, New York, the River Sharks with a 1-0 lead up over the Danbury Hatricks. Danbury with a very convincing win over Elmira last night, so the River Sharks looking for a little bit of retribution on home ice. Coming up here at the top of the hour, just like us, the Carolina Thunderbirds are at the Apex Center in Withville, Virginia, taking on the Blue Ridge Bobcats. And in the central time zone, the Binghamton Black Bears, actually, pardon me, they're in the eastern time zone because they're in Binghamton, the Vision Veterans Memorial Coliseum. The Binghamton Black Bears hosting the Mississippi Seawolves. Last night, Binghamton absolutely dismantled Mississippi. 9-1 was the final score in that one. And uh, Danbury was 8-1 over Elmira yesterday. But boy, I'll tell you what, Binghamton, when they are firing on all cylinders, that is a scary hockey team. In the NHL, we had some matinee action today. And the Detroit Red Wings trying to get off the schneid here. This was actually a big game for playoff implications. The Sabres had crept within a couple of points of the final wild card spot in the East, but the Red Wings a 4-1 win here this afternoon over the Buffalo Sabres. Four unanswered for Detroit to win that one. In overtime, the Senators with a 4-3 win over the New York Islanders, and so that also hurts the Islanders as well. Those are the teams kind of in that wild card mix right now. The New York Rangers 7-4 over the struggling Pittsburgh Penguins. And then games going on right now in the second period intermission. You've got the Arizona Coyotes up 3-1 on the New Jersey Devils. That's another team looking to put it together and made a bunch of moves at the deadline. The Devils trying to figure out what they really have uh, between now and mid-April to see what kind of team they're going to be able to get in gear if they can indeed find a way to get it in gear. Otherwise, it could be a very early spring for them. Tampa Bay Lightning with a 2-0 lead over the Florida Panthers in the Battle of Florida. And that one just after one period of play. Stamkos has his 26th of the year in that one. Coming up here at the top of the hour, you got Flyers at the Bruins. And then the Sharks are visiting the Columbus Blue Jackets. The Canadians are at the Flames tonight. The Hurricanes at the Maple Leafs. Kings at the Stars. Wild at the Blues. That Those are both 8 o'clock starts. 10 o'clock, you've got the Avalanche at the Oilers. Predators are out in Seattle against the Kraken. And the Washington Capitals taking on the 42-win Vancouver Canucks. What a season Vancouver's having. Just absolutely incredible. College Hoops, it's a busy Saturday on the men's hardwood. And some games going on right now. You've got number 7, Iowa State, 22-15, leading number 1, Houston, in the Big 12 Championship Final. In the Big East Tournament Final, that's just underway between number 10, Marquette, and number 2, UConn. Coming up tonight at 8.30, you've got the ACC Tournament Final between number 4, North Carolina, and unranked NC State. Earlier today in the Big Ten Tournament, number 3, Purdue, upset in overtime by Wisconsin, 76-75. And number 13, Illinois, 98-87 winners over Nebraska in that semifinal game. Then... In the SEC Tournament semifinal today, number 12, Auburn survives. They win 73-66 over Mississippi State. And uh, Auburn, I tell you what, Auburn men's basketball having a good year. Some ups, some downs for the Tigers. But let's see if they can put it together for a run here in the spring. Maybe try to do a little damage in that uh, men's hoops tournament. That would be an awful lot of fun to keep an eye on that type of run. All right, well, we've reached that time to take our next break. And when we come back, have our chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome Boom Boom Bichard. Then after that, it's the drop of the puck coming up. This is the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. More coming your way. This is River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change apply for a loan or credit card, we can even open a new account. 
Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25, only at Applebee's. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan, and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital. Excellence always. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Welcome back to the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. Tom Callahan joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard. Boom, thanks for joining us. And uh, coming in against the Baton Rouge Zydeco, it's the last time you're going to see these guys this year. Talk to us a little bit about uh, the Zydeco, the changes they've made here. They even have a new head coach this week. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I think they have a new head coach because the other one got in trouble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what, I mean, uh, I think uh, Everett Thompson came in, come in um, didn't like a call, whatever, got suspended a game. So I think their uh, general manager is stepping in for, uh, to fill in and basically call lines or whatever. So I think the coach probably has done what he needed to do as far as, uh, you know, their playing style and what's going on. So, um, um, you know, we just need to take care of business and play our, 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 our game. Talk about that game a little bit. Uh, trade deadline passes. You do make some moves this week. Carson Andrioli out. Taylor Joseph is out as well. Uh, now moving forward, I mean, this is the squad. W what do you have here in front of you? What do you see? Yeah, no, this is the team. I mean, I hated that uh, Carson's gone. Um, for the most part, the only reason um, is basically because there's a good. There would have been a good chance he might not have been on the playoff roster and. I would hate to keep somebody uh, here and then not have him uh, be available for that. So I thought it would be best for him to go and play the last 15 games and play a ton and get some more experience uh, type thing. So I hate that, but really, you know what, we uh, just got to get uh, back to, um, and not back, but you know, we haven't played in a, in a week in a little bit. So it feels like a long time since we last played and um, we could come out flat, which we need to come out hard um, and you know, not do the easy things. And this is kind of an oxymoron. Uh, well, no, actually, I don't want to get too involved because those are going to be the keys to the game. Okay, no. all right, we'll see. <laughs> um, but anyways, we just got, we got to make sure that we leave uh, Baton Rouge on the bus and give them no opportunity. Well, so last week you played Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now, this week you're back at it again. Talk a little bit about like having an extended break like that can be good and bad because it can rest some bumps and bruises for you as well. Yeah, no, I think we're well rested. Um, but, you know, I mean... A week of practice isn't good, so you know, gave a, uh, an extra day off here and there. But um, you know, I don't know. Practice and games aren't, aren't the same, so you know, it's important for us to get off to a good start. And tonight against Baton Rouge, a team that you've had some pretty good success against this year. What, when you look back at those games and the tape, what's enabled that? Well, I think they have some really good players on their team. They got guys who can put the puck in the net. Um, I don't think they actually played with a whole lot of, um, um, what's the word uh, I'm looking for, kind of direction, I guess. Um, you know, so now I think they have some direction. 
um, which puts them in the right places and gives them a little bit more of a chance to succeed as opposed to just running around and running and gunning type thing. So I think they're playing a little bit more defensive style and uh, a little bit more reserved, which I think is will help them. Um, so, you know, to negate that, we just got to ramp up our stuff and, and you know, kind of do things simple. This is our lead into keys to the game. Keys to the game. So... Um, You've been thinking about this, yeah, haven't you? Well, 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 you know what? I mean, uh, last game, um, the last Mississippi games, I think on Sunday against Carolina, we played really well. Um, but practice-wise, too, guys, we need to do play simple, um, but we can't do things the easy way, if it makes sense. Like the easy way, I'm rocking and rolling, and I'm coming down the wall, but instead of me staying and stopping and posting up, I'm coming off the wall, I'm getting into the middle type thing, and that's, the, that's too easy. Um, we got to play simple, but we got to do things hard, and, if that makes sense. Not be lazy is what you're saying. Yes. Um, so, I mean, and, and playing against teams that we've had success, we've had, uh, we can somewhat play lazy. So, um, no turnovers make sure that our energy level is high right off the bat. We may be a little bit rusty, so less is more, shoot the puck. Um, ice is gonna be bad, it's rain, it's humid, it's humid out there, and uh, the less we pass it, the more we put pucks on the net, better things are gonna happen. All right, boom, thanks for joining us, best of luck tonight. You bet. Back with a drop of the puck in just a moment, this is River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us, we must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories, unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Zelmo's. All Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck. Pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. <laughs> Oh, 
So we're getting ready to go here for tonight's game between the Columbus River Dragons and the Baton Rouge Zydeco. The River Dragons on the season 10 and 1 against the expansion Zydeco. It's been a little bit of a rough go for Baton Rouge so far this year, but they are one of the few teams that have beaten the River Dragons who have only four losses in regulation all season and remain unbeaten at home in regulation here this year. Let's get a look at the starting goaltenders for tonight. And starting in net for the River Dragons, it's going to be your current FPHL wins leader, Brendan Colgan. He's 19-2-0-1 with an 897 save percentage and a 2.80 goals against average. Two shutouts, tops in the league as well. And on the other side, it's going to be Bailey Stevens, who's seen the River Dragons a couple of times overall on the year. He's 3-8-0 with an 877 save percentage, 5.07 goals against average. And Stevens has had an interesting go against Columbus this year. It's, uh, it's been a feast or famine situation, I think, for him is the best way to put it. Some nights he is making some spectacular saves, but not necessarily getting the help defensively. He makes that first, sometimes second, even a third save occasionally, but it doesn't always pan out for him in the goal-scoring column because the River Dragons are just so good at getting to the net. They're so good at getting to the rebounds. And the Zydeco are not quite defensively adept enough to help their goaltender clear out the front of the net. So that is definitely going to be a key, in addition to what was highlighted just a moment ago by Jerome Bichard, the River Dragons head coach. But I think that that's something you've got to look at is the River Dragons' ability to just funnel pucks and traffic to the front of the net to make life miserable for opposing goaltenders. Even when they're putting out their best effort, and we've seen that a couple of times, goalies who have faced the River Dragons have put out an absolutely amazing effort but they just can't come out with the win because Columbus, it's volume of shots. The River Dragons regularly over 50 shots this year and volume of goals. And so right now down on the ice, actually they're gonna give out a couple of monthly awards. And whoop, oh, the River Dragons almost lost Brendan Colgan before the game even started. He's trying to get on the carpet here, Colts. <laughs> Maybe he should have not gotten on the carpet, but Brendan Colgan, Goaltender of the month for the month of February as he gets his award down there on the ice. The River Dragons also have player of the month, Justin McDonald, and the rookie of the month in Ryan Hunter. And so Hunter going over to accept his award, very cautiously tiptoeing onto the carpet and getting a hug from River Dragons and Ignite Sports COO Jeff Krupp. And then McDonald, who we told you, coming into this game on a 32-game scoring streak, has a point in every game since December 1st. He's just on an incredible run right now. And McDonald, named Player of the Month. His wife comes over to accept his award for him. And they pose for a picture. And now they'll get the carpet picked up, and we will get things underway here in just a moment. Boy, what a great crowd on hand here tonight for Faith and Family Night. It's also a family four-pack night, as we mentioned, and we really appreciate everybody being here. But if you can't be down at the Columbus Civic Center, we are thrilled to be broadcasting live tonight on Faith and Family Night on WYBU, Christian Television Network, Channel 16, or it may vary on your cable system. I do know that CTN is available on five different cable systems around the Chattahoochee Valley. But they are broadcasting tonight's game as well, and we appreciate and welcome them as a partner back again this season. All right, we're getting ready to roll River Dragons left to right in front of the broadcast location in the Teal 5th Anniversary Jersey. Zydeco and the White were underway. Columbus will win that drawback. It is McDonald's line starting up front with Moore and Hunter. Blockwell and Underwood, the starting defensive pair. Hunter will move it up on the right side into the Zydeco end of things here. And the River Dragons trying to make something happen early here on the forecheck. Hunter tied up behind the net. Moore pulls the puck free. Out to the left point. Blockwell with a shot that was blocked at the line. 
Zonico able to break the zone. There's a lead ahead a little too far there for Larwood, who's got the bubble on, had an upper body injury a little bit earlier. And so he's still got that full cage going now. Maybe a two-on-one. Here's McDonald breaking right through the knee. McDonald to the backhand, and he draws a penalty. It's going to be a slashing call. So just 41 seconds into the period, the River Dragons end up with the first power play of the game. We haven't even had time to get to our referee introductions yet, and already the Zydeco shorthanded. Slashing is the indication. And that one is going to be whistled against Nick Kitola. But Zydeco pushing out for a shorthanded chance here. However, the River Dragons able to recover. No regroup. River Dragons Power Play is brought to you by The Loft. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two-for-one deal on cover. River Dragons setting it up. The five out there. McDonald on the right side in the half wall. Feeds Dor Jahan right corner. Into the slot for more off the heel of a stick. A chance to clear here, and that is sent on down the ice. Colgan will leave it there. Columbus power play this year, third in the FPHL at 27.7%. Fourth on the kill for the Zydeco at 82%. That is by far their best defensive number, and it's a pretty good one. Storge on the right side, down to the bottom of the circle. Top of the near side, McDonald. Storge on side of the net, tried to scoop it in front, pass block, came right back to him. Behind the net, here's McDonald. Storjahan looking in front, cross ice feed, ends up towards the left point. Shot coming in wide by Petrantonio. Storjahan pokes it back into the corner. McDonald on it. McDonald looking up top. To Moore at the right point. Moore fakes McDonald. Right half wall. McDonald goes back down up top to Doe. Far dot Petrantonio. His wrist shot saved. Stevens with the left pad. Rebound cleared. Doe keeps it in. Fakes it over to McDonald, back over to Petrantonio, far dot, wrist shot, and that one found the glass. And it ricochets out of play. With 24 seconds to go in the man advantage, scoreless here in the early going. Two minutes, 17 seconds into the first period. Bailey Stevens has been called on to make a big stop already. Don't forget, we're back in action tomorrow at 4.05 p.m. on St. Patrick's Day. Special green sweaters worn by the River Dragons to be auctioned off following the contest. On the Dash app, here's a chance for Hunter with a rolling puck just wide stick side. Quick line has it roll away from him, and it's cleared out past Shinkarik. He gets it across. Hunter turns right back in with speed. Ryan Hunter, right wing, off angle chance, and Stevens a glove save. Your referee introductions tonight are brought to you by the Optical Shop. You should see the game they're missing. The Optical Shop in Phoenix City, where right now for just $99 and a bag of chips, you can get two pairs of eyeglasses. Your referees tonight, number two, Corey Fossa, and number nine, Patrick Logue. Your linesman, number 26, Michael Maxson, and number 78, James Grayson. Puck cleared down the ice. That'll do it for the power play. Zonico back to even strength as they kill it off. River Dragons 0 for 1 on the power play. Shinkarik will bring it back down the ice. His pass across. Hunter lets it roll in behind the net. Wick line over for it, but can't get to it in time. It's cleared along to the line, but not out. Up top, Shinkarik threw a seam. Tipped in front just wide by Wick line. Jemayev to Wick line side of the net. Jamming away. Stevens with a save with a paddle down. MJ Graham trying to pull it out of there. Pokes it towards center. Hansen trying to help it out. Right in front of the Zydeco bench. Puck tied up. River Dragons changing it up as well here as it's backhanded away to center. Toss back into the River Dragons end of things here. Columbus trying to move it out, but Graham intercepts on the far side, rolls it up to the right point as he gets knocked down. The crowd enjoying that moment. MJ Graham, a former River Dragons player. Jake Cox keeps it in left side to Robinson. Cox, also a former River Dragons player, born right here in Columbus. Puck out the near side, here's Wick line. It wedged that one high in the air, out it goes. And now stepping up on it, unable to come up with it is Bersani. Cox will move it back. And the Zonico regroup in their own end. Four minutes into the hockey game, no score. River Dragons have the first two shots of the contest here. Dumped in on Colgan, and he will knock that one aside. 
Behind the net, it's centered. Comes right up top to Jay Krupp. Krupp trying to move it away to the pass behind Storjahan. Puck tipped in on goal. Save Colgan right in front on the deflection from Jake Cox. Great stop. Wow, Colgan had to be absolutely alert on that one after the turnover. There's another chance in. Colgan will make the save. Zydeco just trying to get pucks on net, make something happen. This time Krupp uses the glass to get it out. Down it goes. That'll go for icing. So Columbus will not get a chance to change. Boy, the Zydeco with a good shift there. Had some pretty good pressure. Face off will come back down into the Columbus River Dragons end of things. River Dragons control the draw. They'll move it out to center. Haskins will go back for it there. And now back in on the left side, another shot there. Boy, Cox is just peppering him in. Colgan, another save. Now turned over again in the slot. Larwood with a shot. And Colgan will absorb that and hang on. That'll get us to a break. And boy, oh boy, I'll tell you what. Not a great shift there at all for the River Dragons. A lot of turnovers and a very long shift. They're going to have to make sure they wake up from that one. Scoreless here, 5-15 into the first. Columbus and Baton Rouge. We're back with more in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Hello there. My name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Good internet. Get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood. 5.15 gone here in the first period. Tom Callahan with you. River Dragons and the Baton Rouge Zydeco. Scoreless so far in this one. Here in the opening frame brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland. Face off to the left of the River Dragons goal is won back by Columbus. And they'll send it down the ice. It goes right in on goal. Stevens has to play it away from Ryan Hunter who was in. And now Moore keeps the puck in. Swung over to the near side. McDonald collects off the dasher. McDonald on the right wing trying to spin free. McDonald does. Works in front. Tucks it far side. And it's swept away just in the nick of time by Richardson. Now two on one side, it go the other way. Graham in, fakes the shot. Now he lets it go and a big save by Colgan. But Brendan Colgan's been tested early and often here in this first period, but he makes another good one there. Graham with the puck in the right side corner into the slot. Here's a chance in on goal and that one is tipped out of play. Another point blank save out of Brendan Colgan. Oh my goodness. Austin Weber right down the slot all by himself. Nobody on him. I'll tell you what, the Zydeco have come out flying here in the early going. Face off is one back towards Slahetka. He'll move it ahead for the River Dragons. Veteran Tonio has to pursue it. Columbus looks a little bit like a team that hasn't played in eight days. They had a good shift at the very beginning of the game, but only a couple opportunities since then. Meanwhile, the Zydeco have really made it a point to try to get after Columbus, and they've done a good job of it. River Dragons move that puck away to center. It's scooped up there and brought in by Jamaaf in with a wrist shot for the slot. That one missed on the stick side. Veteran Tonio. Scooped up Jamaif 
Up top in the slot, try to wheel through traffic. Petrantonio left points, Lahetka, Sean, and a glove save Stevens. He'll hold on to that for the faceoff to his right. 6.48 into the first. Brishani in for the straw. Ties it up, wins it back to the left point, kept in there by the River Dragons. Chance coming in from Wickline. Steven save, rebound, and Shinkarek got to that one, crashing the net. That's what we were talking about. Shinkarek had a great chance denied by Stevens. Storjahan with a shot, pinballs off a shin pad to the left point. Anderson with the drive, blocker save there. Wickline put it in front. And again, the goaltender Stevens must cover that one. Boy, Columbus has been all over it when they get pucks to the net. But the Zydeco have done a nice job so far establishing zone time and keeping the River Dragons from doing a whole lot of that yet. It's something Columbus is going to need to work on getting some more of here. It's tied up on the dot. Zydeco come out with a puck, and Baton Rouge looks to break the zone. Up the left side, they'll bring it ahead. Shinkarek tried to poke at it. Larwood in space, lost it on the wall. Puck ends up in the slot, but Storjahan will send it behind his own net. He'll loop out the left side, his lead to center. Picked up and now moved on to the right side to Wickline. Up with Bersani, Wickline curls, waiting for more help. Gets it across to Shinkarek, he'll drive down the left. Curl up top, leaves it. Bockwill with a shot, and that missed. On the near post, Wickline feeding it behind the net. Haskins on it there for Baton Rouge. He'll slide it around and out to center. Hansen steps in over the line, left side, avoids the check from Bockwill, still going. Wraps it around, taken away to the point, but not out of the zone. Zydeco keep it in. They'll try the left side, long shot coming in. That hit a bunch of bodies in front, did not get through, and now Columbus away. Left side, Slahetka leading the rush with a wrist shot. That goes high, wraps its way all the way back out to center. River Dragons working on a change here as Bockwill chased all the way back into his own zone. In trouble there from Weber. Weber trying to steal it away behind the net. Graham on the left wing side. Pushed it back down. Bockwell behind the net. Zydeco trying to set up some zone time. Puck at the right point here. Kept in by Bacon momentarily. And now the River Dragons ahead. Three on two if they hurry. Here's Moore. Into space. Tried to hook it through. It came back to him. Moore wanted to filter it across. Taken away in front there. Good position by Noah Robinson. Zydeco will dump it in the other way as they head for a change. Colgan out to play it. Feeds it onto the far side. Anderson out there. Trying to push it free. McDonald will scoop it up. Nine minutes gone here in the first period. No score. A bounce pass ahead. Rolls into the zone. Hunter after it. He'll corral it in the left wing corner. Ryan Hunter back up the wall. High slot. Little backhand flick. The right side half wall. McDonald back towards Hunter. He curls. Hunter up top for McDonald. McDonald with a wrist shot. That hit a leg and ends up in the near corner. Kyle Moore back to Hunter. Hunter into the slot. Couldn't get it to McDonald. Baton Rouge back. They charge up on the left wing side. Three on three. Chirac cuts in towards the goal. Shot and a save of the near post. And now in behind the play, we're going to get a penalty, it looks like, as Chirac was knocked down. No, we're not going to get a penalty. Okay. Thought perhaps something had happened there behind the play, but instead the faceoff will just stay to the right of the River Dragons net. 9.38 gone here in the first. No score. It stays five on five. Columbus moving the puck ahead there after Cox won the draw. Petrantonio went right to it, and he gets it across to Doe with a shot. Stevens a save off the mask, and he holds. Bailey Stevens has been solid so far, as has Brendan and Colgan. Believe it or not, Zydeco out shooting the River Dragons 8-6 to this point. Both goaltenders putting on an early clinic here. We're not quite halfway through this first period. Cox winning the draw back. This time the Zydeco control. No, they turned it over again. Far corner to Doe. He feeds the left point. Slahetka, Shinkarek. Tried to backhand into the slot. Coming back for Petrantonio. Turnaround shot. Sent it high. Slahetka at the left point. 
Around behind the net. Out the near side. It's Laheka. Backdoor feed. Shin Carrick on the backhand. Couldn't shoot. Try to scoot it back in front. It rolls away to the left point. It's Lahetka into the slot area. Tipped away from Doe. Petrantonio doesn't shoot. Leaves it back off. Here's Jamaev. Jamaev around behind to Petrantonio. Up to the left point. Slahetka right side. Shin Carrick. He's pressured. And his shot. Tip wide by Jamaev. Jamaev sends it around the rim to the right wing. River Dragons will not get there to keep it in as the puck away to center. Let's go, Columbus trying to move it ahead. Krupp, hot dogs went back the other way. That one hopped over the stick of the defender, Slahetka, and Jake Cox went in after it. Now Colgan ran into Cox and... Now they're going to give Cox an interference call. So when we come back, River Dragons to the power play for the second time tonight. Scoreless here with 9.09 to go in the first. Back with more in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Hey, y'all. My name is Tierra, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken. Instant classic. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo zip in, fueling life's passions for 20 years. And we're back here in the first period with 9.09 to go. Tom Callahan here with you. And our thanks to everybody on the simulcast. Tonight's broadcast, 106.9 Rocks in Columbus. And then on the Christian Television Network, Channel 16. So now, so at first it looked like they were just going to give Cox an interference call against Colgan, but they just put somebody into the River Dragons box. It looks like maybe to serve a penalty also being assessed against Colgan. So perhaps, we're, yeah, we're coming up a four on four here. And I did see interference was one of the penalties indicated, and that is the one issued to Jake Cox, which is why I'm wondering what Brendan Colgan picks up. So the River Dragons are not going to the power play, it appears. And still waiting to see what they gave Colgan, but it is four on four. Delay a game is what they gave Colgan. So four on four it is as the River Dragons push up the left side. Slaheka put it right in front. Puck free. Storjahan wanted to get it through to Wickline. Just too many bodies in the way. Puck comes back up top. Storjahan looping to his left with it. His wrist shot is deflected wide. Comes around to the right point. Held in there by Underwood. Underwood in behind the net towards Slaheka. Slaheka trying to skip away from his check over there. Pardon me, Storjahan's in the corner. Wickline in that pile as well. Haskins in there. That's one thing about the FPHL this year. They've asked the referees not to blow the play dead as much, trying to get the guys to move the puck as much as they can. Larwood will come up four on four, try to get around Bockwell on the right side. And as Sean is deflected behind the net, nice job by Underwood to come over and close them off as well. Zynico changing up the personnel out there is McDonald. That qualifies as a dipsy doodle as he just dekes through two of the four Zydeco, keeps the puck onto the right side now for Hunter. River Dragons changing Hunter into the slot. Here comes Shin Carrick, wrist shot just over top of the net and off the glass and out of play. 7.37 to go in the first scoreless between the Zydeco and the River Dragons. 28 seconds to go in the four on four situation. A 
face off will be to the left of the Zydeco goal. Face off ends up near side and does get out through center. Chased down now by Shinkarik. Shinkarik has to get rid of it. Can't get it out of the zone. Spivak putting it up top. It ends up out at center, looping back there. Bacon. Better get it back across, but his pass is picked off. And now a fortunate bounce goes to MJ Graham. Zydeco push in. Pass for Sivek. Didn't quite get to him. And now it's coughed up and one on one. Here's Hunter, and McDonald's going to catch him. Now two on one. Hunter in over to McDonald. Pass tipped away at the last moment as Civic recovered. We return to five on five. A centering feed there for Krupp. Couldn't get it to him. Hunter on the left side, around behind the net. Too far for McDonald. Cox out to center. He'll move it back, and now Anderson with a pass ahead. That one is bumped on to McDonald. McDonald tried to push it over the line, could not. Jam back by Anderson. Zydeco on it. Columbus is going to start a change here. 6.33 to go in the first. No score. Zydeco and the River Dragons still battling here in this early going. Krupp will dump it in. Bounce it towards the net where it's picked off on the way there by Kitola. We'll play it back to the near side. Cox scoops it up on the wall. Flips it into space. Zydeco up. Moving ahead, here's a shot and a blocker saved by Colgan on that wrister by Robinson. Another chance, another blocker saved by Colgan. Slahetka away with a rebound. Dragons to center. Left off there for Underwood. It was behind him, and now Cox the other way, and he stepped into Underwood's stick, knocked himself down with it, and that is going to be a penalty against Underwood. So the River Dragons are going to be shorthanded for the first time in the hockey game as Kirk Underwood heading into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Two minutes for tripping. Fourteen oh three, time of the penalty. Zydeco on to their first power play of the night. They are tenth in the league with an 11.7% power play. River Dragons kill is first at 86.5%. River Dragons will start it with a draw win and a clear. Zydeco on the regroup. They'll push in from center. Around it goes Colgan behind his own net. Flings it back at the far side glass from whence it came. Zydeco cut it off there, though. They'll keep it on the right side and go to work setting it up. On to the right wing side. A shot around behind the net. McGuire, and now it ends up towards that left point. Kept in there down the walls. Hansen looking in front of shot. Colgan the save, hugging the post. An awkward one, and he's a little stung by it. But I think he's all right. It's Slaheka moseys through center and now dumps it in. Bersani up on the four check. And Colgan just adjusting the gear a little bit, but he's all right. And now here's Sequoia Swan on the left side. After the loose puck, he'll swing it around to the right wing. Bersani tracks it back to center and sends it right back into the zone. That allows Columbus to change it up with 49 seconds to go on the power play. 4.43 to go in the first. Scoreless between the River Dragons and the Zydeco. Baton Rouge finishing its change as well. Left side, here's Michael Haskins. In over the line, puts behind the net into the far corner. Graham tying up his man. Moore arrives with a bump. And it comes back up towards Kyle Moore. He gets through one and flings it the rest of the way down. Stevens will leave it behind the Zonico. Now here's Ozil Lynch. Left side lead there and running into traffic and trouble was Richardson. With the puck ahead now right side. Carried on. Haskin dumps it behind the net. Colgan on it back there in a little bit of trouble. Lost the puck to Weber, but by the time they got it in front, it was already out of the zone. Columbus has killed it off. Here's Wickline moving ahead. He's got more alone in front. More off a skate with a shot. Stevens a glove save. Great job by Moore to take that pass off the outside of his right skate and just get a quick shot away. Great save by Stevens as well. Didn't have a whole heck of a lot of time to react. Back come the Zydeco on the right side. Driving wide is Noah Robinson, and he's run into heavily behind the goal. 
Puck free in the slot, though. Chance coming down for the point, and that one is blocked by traffic. River Dragons out. They'll rush up the left wing side. It's opening up a little here. Running into a check, and then the stick knocked out of the hands of Austin Doe. Puck turned over, though. Here's Jamea with a quick shot. That hit traffic. Doe on the right side corner. Petrantonio after it. Battling away, Josh Petrantonio behind the net feeds the left point. And sent in front again. A shot. Steven save on the redirect, and he will hold on. Three minutes left to go in this first period. Scoreless between Columbus and Baton Rouge. Back with more in a moment on River Dragons Hockey. I Spice? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm a starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. <laughs> or not. Huh, Starry does taste better. <laughs> hey y'all, my name is Tierra, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. I just love how the biscuit just matches perfectly with the spice on the chicken filet. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. The chicken is always crispy. Then you add the spices to the chicken, instant classic. Business, Beam, bringing East Alabama more. It's in our name. Three minutes to go here in the opening frame. The River Dragons and the Baton Rouge Attico, first of two on the weekend between these two teams. Tomorrow afternoon, 4.05 p.m. start. Here at the Columbus Civic Center, St. Patrick's Day, I see a few folks already have their green on. But the River Dragons, We'll be wearing special St. Patrick's Day jerseys tomorrow, auctioned off on the Dash app. And you can take a shot at winning those jerseys. Just text the word DASH to 66866. That's DASH to 66866. Download the Dash app, and once you fill out your profile, select Columbus Sports as your favorite teams, you'll be notified not only what's going on right now, but also what's coming up in the future for Columbus River Dragons auctions on the Dash app. An icing call against the Zydeco. And we're gonna bring it right back on down the ice. River Dragons hockey brought to you in part by BKI Accounting, a new age approach to old school accounting, specializing in payroll, bookkeeping, income and sales taxes for small business. Learn more at bkiaccounting.com. And a quick shot in on goal there. Stevens makes the save. 2.36 to go here in the first. Petrantonio, Jamea, and Doe remain out front. This line has had a little bit of a buzz about it here towards the back half of this first period. They'll try to keep the pressure on with his face off to the right of the Zydeco goal. Don't forget the next River Dragons team dinner coming up at Texas Roadhouse. We'll tell you about that. That's coming up on Wednesday. Hope to see you all there, 6 p.m. Petrantonio trying to pin his man on the glass. Jamea for the bump. MJ Graham turning in traffic. He's run into. Couldn't get the puck along too far, though. Columbus keeps it in. Right point here, Shinkarik. Shinkarik with a shot. Tipped down low by Doe right out the other side. It's Lahetka down for the left point. Keeps the play alive. Banks to the point. Shinkarik. Shinkarik on the wall. Slahetka left side. Slahetka cross ice, and it just escapes the stick of Doe. Jamea battling his way, trying to get to the rolling puck behind the net. Richie collects it, but can't clear it. Jamea, far corner, battling over there. Weber will try his hand. And the Zydeco do manage to get it at least to center. Columbus turns it back to an open wing. Ryan Hunter on it there. Cross ice feed, finds McDonald up with more. McDonald left side, wrist shot off the tip of the mitt of Bailey Stevens. Backhand clear, does get to center, past Ryan Hunter, Robinson on the left wing. He's bumped off by Underwood, and he'll elect to send it back to Ozelinch all the way back in the Zydeco end. Ozelinch will get it back one more time, and he'll try the near side again here on the left wing to Haskins. His bank pass ahead. Underwood can't knock it away from Robinson, battling him down the left side wall. Puck in front, Bach will tip it away, but it's right there. Nice job by Moore as he tipped the stick from behind on Chirac right before he let it go. Under a minute to go here in the first. Still looking for the first goal of the hockey game. 
As it comes back down the ice, McDonald trying to fight that one away from Jake Cox. And it's backhanded into the Columbus end. Underwood after it, try to leave it off there, but it's turned over. Larwood with a shot, fought off by Colgan. Big save there, and now side of the net. Colgan will flop on the puck in the crease. Another good Zonico chance, but Brennan Colgan equal to the task. 34.2 seconds to go here in period number one. Draw to the left of Colgan. And they are going to throw the Zydeco center out there because Larwood jumped in early. So that's going to force McGuire out of the faceoff. And that allows an easier win for Bersani there away from Hansen. River Dragons move it out of the zone. Dumped down Storjahan and dumped out by Storjahan. 24.6 seconds to go. Faceoff will come right on the dot at center. So the next eve of the River Dragons event coming up on this Wednesday, the 20th, at Texas Roadhouse from 6 to 7 p.m. It's your chance to get autographs, selfies, and more. Come on down and join the River Dragons for their next eve with the team event at Texas Roadhouse. We look forward to seeing you there. That's Wednesday, 6 to 7 p.m. Here's Bersani up the left side. He'll move in over the line with a wrist shot. Glove save Stevens. Rebound on the near wing. Wickline cut it off of the corner. Wedged up high in the air, out to center it goes. And Anderson, all the way behind his own net, just to ride out the period, and that'll do it. So 20 minutes in the books between the River Dragons and the Zydeco. And I will say this, Baton Rouge coming in as the road team here, I thought had a pretty darn good opening 20 minutes. As Brennan Colgan had to be sharp several times, come up with some big saves to keep this game scoreless. And meanwhile, Bailey Stevens sharp in the other end for the Zydeco, who I think played about as good a road period as you can ask for against the first place hockey team. They had some zone time. They generated some scoring chances. But again, I mean, both goaltenders really are the story of this opening frame. And because of that, we will not have any goals to tell you about. However, Normally, where we put our scoring wrap, we always bring you the stats from the first period, but I think we'll get a little bit more into the analysis of that opening frame, tell you a little bit more about it. Plus, we've got that Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard coming up as well. However, up next is our chance to meet the newest River Dragon. I caught up with Hunter Verostek before tonight's game and uh, had a few minutes with him, the Liberty University product, talking about how he ended up here in Columbus and what fans can expect out of him. So the newest River Dragon goaltender, Hunter Verostek, is our guest on the other side of the break when we come back. And the first period intermission report is brought to you by Sun South John Deere, equipment for those that do. Back with more on River Dragons Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Gosh. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change.
What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth-watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood Tim's. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for $4. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Welcome back to the Sun South John Deere First Period Intermission Report. We're joined by Hunter Verostek. And Hunter, just coming in from Liberty University, first of all, thanks for joining us. And uh, talk to us a little bit about your journey. How did you end up in Columbus from Liberty? Yeah, so I just finished off my fifth year at, uh, at Liberty. Um, rounding out uh, the last year, we made it to Nationals. Finished seventh in the nation, made it to the quarterfinals, ended up losing out. Uh, then on the way home, just kind of looking, trying to talk to some teams, see if I could land a spot anywhere, and uh, this opportunity came up. And so packed up the gear quick and headed down to Columbus, Georgia. Well, obviously, you being new, I'm sure our fans haven't quite had a, a heck of a lot of time to dig into your background there. But talk about playing at Liberty, uh, and uh, it's ACHA D1, which I know some fans are familiar with. But explain a little bit, if you will, about what that level of hockey's like. Yeah, so ACHA, it's uh, technically below NCAA D3. Um, but over the last few years, it's gotten to be a pretty strong league. Um, and playing over there, going, going in there right away, unbelievable uh, just the atmosphere we had uh, tons of fans support the facilities at liberty are unbelievable state-of-the-art and we just get got treated well there uh, the level of hockey was awesome especially the top teams just competing it was hard it was fast really uh, highly competitive um, and then yeah just playing there for it was actually four and a half years i transferred my a freshman year from a different school but those four and a half years were a ton of fun and i made a lot of friends along the way Talk to us about your style a little bit. How would you describe yourself? Yeah, so uh, the goalies I kind of look up to is Sergei Bobrovsky, UC Soros, um, more of those kind of fast, athletic type of goalies. That's kind of what I tried to model my game after. Um, I also like to try to stay as consistent and calm as possible in the net. Uh, it just helps with consistency throughout the game and uh, through practice. All right, well, Hunter, we appreciate you being here. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. All right, back with more of the First Period Intermission Report in just a moment. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Let's go! Set the tone. Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job. Woo! Yeah. Grab a Pepsi Wild Cherry and get wild. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. 
With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. <laughs>Welcome back on River Dragons Hockey here. The first period intermission report brought to you by Sun South John Deere equipment for those that do as we take a look back at that first period that was the scoring summary. Well, no goals to tell you about. Scoreless through one period of play. Shots were 13-12 in favor of Baton Rouge and each team finishes 0 for 1 on the power play. We did have a stretch of four on four. Kind of an unusual stretch where Jake Cox gets called for interference running into the goaltender Brendan Colgan who was whistled for delay of game. And I think there's a lot of ways that could have played out. Four on four was not the way I saw it going, to be honest with you. However, uh, it did lead to some scoring opportunities in both ends. But again, the story of that first period was really the goaltenders. And we talked about a key before the game for the River Dragons was funneling pucks and bodies to the front of the net, which they've done with some success all year long against pretty much everyone they've played. I think the Zydeco did a good job defensively of limiting that in the first period. They really didn't let the Dragons get those passes through. They did a nice job defensively of collapsing down low, taking away time and space in front of the net for the River Dragons. And uh, when they didn't, Bailey Stevens was there to make the saves. But really, I think uh, tip your cap to the Zydeco there in that opening 20 minutes. A really nice effort out of them. A great job really keeping the River Dragons from uh, getting that offense going. And Columbus... We've seen a couple times this year, boy, when they get the offense rolling, look out. But that was a big one. And uh, you know what? The River Dragons, there's 40 minutes left to go in this game. And I think going in fits and starts, they had a couple of shifts where there were some giveaways, but they seemed to alleviate that as the period wore on. And again, Columbus is a team that hasn't played in over a week. Their last game was last week Friday, so an eight-day gap between games. And eh, they looked at a little bit at times here in that first period. You expect that. So Columbus right now in the locker room, I'm sure, saying, okay, well, not our best period of hockey this year, but we know we have more. But the Zydeco, again, if they continue to take things away in the front of the net, will we see the River Dragons try to shift shots to the point, maybe to the wings a little bit more? Uh, again, they're just, you know, wanting to funnel those pucks to the front. But if the Zydeco were clumped there, maybe you've got to adjust and adapt a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Then back in the defensive zone for Columbus, there were a couple of times they tried some passes up the middle, cross ice passes in the defensive zone. By and large, those ended up in turnovers. And the Zydeco ended up with some really nice scoring chances off of that. Again, Colgan, great start here to tonight's game. Uh, a big 13 save first period out of him. So really like what you're seeing from the uh, co-netminder of the year last year in the FPHL and uh, back in his winning form here this year, leading the league in wins coming into this game here tonight. And uh, Colgan may be rounding into playoff shape and hopefully the River Dragons doing just that as well. Let's take a look at this Zelmo's zip in out of town scoreboard here for you. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. Busy night in the FPHL. And the goals, they are a poppin' at Big Boy Arena. Motor City with a 4-3 lead over the Port Huron Prowlers. That game is now at the end of the second. It was 3-0 Motor City after one. So just like they did last night, Port Huron has fought their way back in the Battle of Michigan here tonight. And it'll be interesting to see that third period, how that's going to play out. Last night, Port Huron came from behind to win. Can they do it again tonight? We'll find out. First arena in Elmira, and we are reaching the end of the second period, about a minute to go in the frame, and Danbury has surged back in front of Elmira. That's now a 2-1 hat-tricks lead. And let's see, elsewhere in the FPHL tonight, one period in the books at the Apex Center. 
The Carolina Thunderbirds with a 2-1 lead over the host Blue Ridge Bobcats. And picking up where they left off last night, the Binghamton Black Bears, 3-0, leading the Mississippi Seawolves after 20 minutes of play there. In the NHL, finals from earlier today, matinee action. The Red Wings top the Sabres 4-1. In overtime, the Senators 4-3 over the Islanders. And the Rangers 7-4 over the Penguins. Coyotes 4-1 winners over the New Jersey Devils. Couple of games going on right now in the second period intermission. You've got the Lightning with a 4-2 lead over the Florida Panthers. After one period of play, the Flyers and the Bruins are knotted up at one. Blue Jackets with a 1-0 lead over the San Jose Sharks on Boone Jenner's 21st of the year. Also in the first intermission, the Flames 1-0 over the Montreal Canadiens. Michael Backlund, a power play goal for his 14th. Hurricanes and Leafs are scoreless after 20. Coming up here in just a couple of minutes at the top of the hour, you got King Stars and Wild and Blues. And then at 10 o'clock Eastern, the Avalanche are at the Oilers. Preds are at the Kraken. And the Capitals are at the Canucks. Men's college hoops. Big day on the hardwood for the men here today. In the Big 12 championship final, right now, number seven, Iowa State is all over number one, Houston, with about five and a half to go in the second half. It's 59-32, Iowa State leading that game. In the Big East tournament final, Number two, UConn leads number 10, Marquette, 37-33, just barely into the second half. 8.30 tip-off tonight for the ACC final. Number four, North Carolina against NC State. And from earlier today, the Big Ten semifinal. Number three, Purdue upset by Wisconsin in overtime, 76-75. And number 13, Illinois, 98-87 winners over Nebraska. And setting up tomorrow's final, Illinois and Wisconsin. And the SEC tournament, the semifinal game played today. Number 12, Auburn continues on. A big 73-66 win over Mississippi State. And the Tiger men chance to capture that SEC tournament. Maybe even make a pretty nice little run here. In the tournament coming up here, March Madness just around the corner. I can't believe it's already that time of year, but here we are. Scoreless after one, River Dragons and the Zydeco. When we come back, it's time for second period action. That's it for the Sun South John Deere first period intermission report. We'll be right back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich. 
a golden hash brown with a small hot or iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bun. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. And we are back just in time for second period action. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you if you're watching on Christian Television Network tonight. We appreciate you being here for the broadcast on a Saturday night as Faith and Family Night here at the arena. A great crowd on hand here at the Columbus Civic Center. Our thanks to everyone sharing faith and fellowship with us here tonight. And the River Dragons also on the radio 106.9 Rocks, our radio flagship station. And every single game broadcast on YouTube as well. I know you can't always make it to the arena or certainly all the away games. You want to follow this hockey team on the road. We are at Columbus River Dragons on the YouTube side. Period number two is underway. The River Dragons rolling right to left here in this second period. And they'll push in looking to go to work. Five on five. Here's Bach with left point a shot wide on the glove side. And on the right wing corner, here's Moore. Trying to kick that one along. Looking for help from Hunter in the pile. Free behind the net to McDonald. McDonald out the near side. Backhands up to the left point. Shot by Bockwell is tipped out of play. Just 30 seconds in. Tonight's second period action is presented by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! McDonald wins that draw back. Bach will at the point more. Moore trying to walk through the D. Leaves it right side. Hunter shot blocked. And the Zotico away to center. Puck dumped into the Columbus end of things. Underwood back after it. River Dragons ahead to center. Zotico changing. Hunter left side. High slot McDonald cuts to his left. McDonald loops behind the net. Far side tried to center. He gets it back up top now. McDonald leaves it at the point. There's a shot threaded wide. Looking for a bounce off the end wall. Right in front, Stevens will cover. And he'll hold on for a face off of the offensive zone. River Dragons will finish up the change here. I like the little play by Bockwell there from up top. Throws it. His seam was not to the net. It was to the side of the net. But he went for the bounce off the dasher, looking for an opportunity, and almost found one. Columbus wins the draw. Anderson with a long shot. That's kicked away. And bounced out to center. Jamea will backhand it in. Zanico trying to clear it around to the far side of Carrick right point. Tees up. A drive and just missing on the blocker side. Anderson holds. Sends it around far side. Ozelinch up the wall, chipped the line. Shinkarik keeps it in. Jamath up to high, his shot. That one ends up in the near corner. Shinkarik on it again, looping into the slot, flips over to the right side. Doe with a chance, blocked. And the Zydeco able to clear, led by Graham. Graham dumps it into the near corner. Played back up the near side, and out to center it goes. Bacon turning back with it. Cleared along towards Shinkarik. That one in over the line now. Quick shot. Graham and a save there by Colgan. He'll pin it against the chest. Hold on for a face off to his right. Boy, both goaltenders have absolutely been the story of the game here tonight. And early on here in the second period, that continues. Brennan Colgan, Bailey Stevens dueling with one another. Cox in for the face-off here, across from Bersani. Cox wins it back, quick shot, handled by Colgan. 
Bounced in front of the net, Slahetka trying to move it out. Cannot turn around, Chance Robinson sent it wide. On the glove side, Storjahan chops it out of the zone. Now a race down for it. That's an icing call as Sivek gets there first. Two and a half into this second period. And again, the same two teams going back head to head tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow afternoon, I should say, 4.05 p.m. A St. Patrick's Day Sunday matinee here at the Columbus Civic Center. Seats on sale right now through Ticketmaster.com. River Dragons wearing special St. Patrick's Day jerseys tomorrow, auctioned off on the Dash app. There's an attempt at a clear there, puck up the slot. Zynico keep it in. And now sent away, Wick line. He'll meander through center. Gets it onto the left wing, Bersani. Long shot in, steered aside by Stevens. Around to the right point, kept in. A shot in on goal, Stevens, another save. Rebound, pulled out in front. Sivek up the near side, but not out. Robinson will steal it away from Bersani and clear. Here's Cox, hooks it ahead. A chance, oh boy, nice job by Slahetka to get back. He put a shoulder in Chirac, and he never got a shot off. And now a little pushing and shoving in front of the net. Boy, this is the first animosity we've seen in this game. And we've played over 23 minutes of hockey already here. But I believe this is just a little boys will be boys in the age old game of smell my glove. And we'll stay five on five with a draw coming up to the left of the River Dragons cage and indeed McDonald, Moore and Hunter back out for Columbus to try to generate some offensive steam here. Face off is one back, Shin Carrick on it. He'll bank it ahead and out to center, turn back the other way where it ends up. Bockwell flings that one in deep. Turned over, Shin Carrick in with a drive and a blocker save. Stevens, Moore knocks down, Larwood takes the puck. Feeds McDonald, try to chop it in front. The bouncer didn't get through, back to McDonald. To an open wing, left side, Bockwell down low. He centers a shot, they score! Justin McDonald! What great patience and a great look from Bockwell as he comes down to left side, threads it in front, McDonald waiting at the bottom of the far circle. And Justin McDonald, the streak continues. McDonald's. Hunter and Bach will the assist at 342. Back after it is Anderson. They'll wave off icing here. The Zanico up on the four check. Graham in there. Puck moved ahead towards Krupp. Krupp gets it out of the zone. Graham will feed it in deep, chance, ooh, right up the slot, dangerous rolling puck, tipped on by the River Dragons, and now Krupp ahead. In over the line, right side, Krupp stops on the half wall, looking for help, feeds it across, crashing down from the left side. Krupp trying to move it back up top, Slahetka. Krupp out there with Swan and Petrantonio right now, there's a shot coming in, Stevens easy handle, and he'll hang on, saw it all the way, no rebound. By the way, for Justin McDonald, that's his 32nd goal of the season. Faceoff will come to the left of the goal.
River Dragons trying to keep it in. Looking to move it ahead, here's Cox. In over the line, quick shot, Cole gonna save. Penalty coming up against Columbus. We'll tell you about it when we come back. River Dragons will be shorthanded, but they're up one nothing on a Justin McDonald goal. Back at the board in a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. <laughs> Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. You now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. <laughs> And we are back here on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Tom Callahan here with you. Christian Television Network and our simulcast on 106.9 Rocks. Hunter Bersani into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box here for hooking. 5.06 time of the transgression. And the Zotico on to their second power play of the night. 0 for 1, 11.7% on the year. River Dragons kill first at 86.5. Face off to the right of Brennan Colgan. One back to the line and controlled by the Zydeco. Nice block in front of the net there as the River Dragons chip it out. Looked like Wickline might have been thinking shorthanded chance. But that did not get through and now the Zydeco will reset behind their own net. And look to bring it ahead here on the right side, Underwood. Cuts that off just out at center. The Zydeco must regroup again. Goes the lynch on it. He'll try the left side. That didn't get through either. So one more time, Baton Rouge back into its own end. They'll push in and a big hit there at the line. Bockwell stepping up on his check. Put a shoulder into Kitola. Kitola ends up back with it on the right side. Cox trying to help him out in the pile. Puck to the line, but... Not out of there as it's kept in by Ozelinch. Cox, Ozelinch at the left point. His shot deflects away and now sent behind the net by Anderson. Kitola up top, his wrister coming in and a solid blocker save there on a Colgan. Back around the rim near side, not enough gas to leave the zone. Cox, wrist shot, save made, Colgan right in front and the rebound cleared out. 27 seconds to go in the man advantage here for the Zydeco. 1-0 River Dragons. If you're just joining us, Justin McDonald, the goal, and extends his scoring streak to 33 games. Here's Austin Doe, lost the handle, looking for a shorthanded chance. Hansen back. He'll dump it in. Colgan plays it away, but it scoots away from Shinkarik. Left point, Hansen up top. Power play time ticking down. Hansen gets it back left side. And we're back to five on five as the puck goes behind the net. Tipped up the slot. Columbus able to move it ahead. Here come the River Dragons. Bersani on the right side, out of the box, into the slot. Doe with a shot, and that one is fought off by the blocker of Stevens. Now a long stretch missed Larwood. Colgan's got to paddle it away. He scoots it off the glass and all the way back down the ice. No icing as Columbus changing it up. Reset the lines after that PK. Now Larwood a feed in behind the DM of the shot and Colgan again the save of the blocker. Boy, Brendan Colgan is just having himself a solid night. Let's go, Dragons! Puck fed back in. And to the River Dragons, and Slahetka. He's challenged there, and 
Knocks down a Zydeco player who's upset that there wasn't a penalty called. I believe that was Austin Weber. It's Hunter on the left side. Puck bounced at center. Zydeco trying to turn back Weber on the right wing. Backhanded in ahead of Graham. Columbus flips it back the other way, but that clear picked out of the air. Richardson back in on the right side, and again a blocker save. As Colgan, just a little flick, and he puts that one into the netting. Off to his right. Eight twenty-seven gone here in period number two. Faceoff coming up to the left of the River Dragons net. Draw one back and cleared out to center. Storjahan over skates. He'll cut back with it for Bonkwill. He'll move it ahead at center. Here's a feed on the left wing, cutting it over the line. Bersani wrist shot, saves Stevens' rebound, went right off the back of the net, off the glass. And that one sent just out to center. Underwood back over Bonkwill. Leads it in left side. Push behind the net. Wick line right up the middle. Underwood a drive save. Rebound. And Bersani couldn't corral it off his skates. Now Robinson the other way for the Zydeco. Pass tipped ahead into the left wing corner. Charging after it. Chirac. Into the near corner. Looped it behind. But Underwood cut it off. Underwood challenged. Knocked down by Cox. Puck rolls away. Storjahan gets it onto the left wing. Bersani trying to fight his way past Robinson. It's cleared back to Underwood. Columbus trying to work through a change here. Zonico will do the same. Now moving it ahead quickly on the left side is Anderson. In over the line. He'll dump it in and go after it. Anderson all the way behind the net. Looking to center. Popped up in the air. Chirac gloves it down. And Chirac on the left side. Cut down by Doe. No penalty there. Or Nope. Yes, there is. Tripping the call. Austin Doe headed to the box. Austin Doe into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. 9.53. Time of the trip. That is a name you do not see in the Abercrombie penalty box very much. Austin Doe, the least penalized player on this River Dragons hockey team this season. That is only his third minor of the year. It comes in with just an astonishing four minutes in penalties. It's all the way up to six. There's a shot in by Ozelinch. Glove down right off that face off. As Colgan saw it all the way. And the draw will come to his right once again. Graham and Bersani lock horns. This time it's brought back by Anderson behind the net, but he's pinned on it and now is able to go back and steal it away. Got to work it up the wall, but Graham took it away from him. Graham dancing on the left side into the slot. That one tipped away on the back wing and Haskins down to the corner and that might have hit the referee on the way through. Either way, it comes to the River Dragons are able to clear. Stevens. We'll wave everybody back and tee it up behind the net. Columbus changing up at least the front portion of the penalty kill. Is it stumped down? Will this be icing? No, they say it was tipped. Shinkarek on it. He'll send it the rest of the way down. Jemayev out there with Petrantonio on this penalty kill. Larwood just struggling with the puck right now on the near side. Jemayev all over him. He finally pulls free. Larwood on the right side, scoots around to check. Lost the puck on the wall, though, to Petrantonio. Slahetke able to clear it out. Jemayev ahead, left side, has some room on the wing. Stays wide, wrist shot, Stevens the save, and he has to hang on. Has it buried in the gear. 44 seconds to go in the shorthanded situation. River Dragons with a 1-0 lead, 8.51 to go in the second period. We're back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Just the two of us. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus, bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. What? Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle? With a mouth watering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee. And a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too. The $6 breakfast bundle at your neighborhood. Eight fifty-one to go in the second period. one nothing. River Dragons in the lead. Justin McDonald, the goal. Yes, the streak continues. 33 straight games with a point for McDonald. The only goal of this game coming back earlier in the second period. 44 seconds right now left in a penalty kill for the River Dragons. Sidaco with the man advantage, but a draw in the defensive zone. Storjahan tried to shoot right off the face off there. It was blocked. Now Baton Rouge will move it ahead again. Dumped into the right side corner. Kitola trying to get up after it. Played to the point, not out. Long shot coming in. Gloved down by. Well, there's a clear out of play. Underwood put it right into one of the seats over there to thunk. It's good. I mean, it just found a hole between some people barely. Boy, that sucker. <laughs> it hit the only empty seat in that row. It's a good thing. Colgan <laughs> made the save, and he kind of pawed it down right to Underwood. Underwood came around the corner, fired it up the glass, and it just rimmed its way out. Got to keep your head on a swivel, folks, when you're at a hockey game. I'll tell you what. You never know when one's going to end up coming at you. Here's Stor Jahan moving into the right side. We'll scoop it around behind the net inside. Go into the near side corner. Robinson up the right wing to Jake Cox as the time ticking down. And out of the Abercrombie bonding penalty box is Austin Doe. Back to five on five hockey. Puck to the point, not out. Sent high in the air, gloved down by Storjahan. He'll spin away from Robinson and move it ahead. Storjahan pushing up on the wing, cutting in the slot. Tried to leave it off. Bouncer in traffic. Hunter in with a wrist shot. And that one is deflected to the glass. Right side, Mort. Try to walk past his man. Shouldered off the puck. Zydeco clear. Bockwell on the roller. Now Shinkarik moving it ahead. In on the right wing side, here comes Columbus. Moore behind the net, into the slot. Quick shot, Hunter scores! Ryan Hunter let it go right away. No hesitation, beats Bailey Stevens, and it's 2 nothing River Dragons. it to Hunter as he puts it away from the slot and the River Dragons double up their lead Hunter's 23rd of the year Warren Shinkarik, the assists on the goal. And the Zydeco trying to push right back in. There's a shot by Larwood, gobbled up by Brendan Colgan. Face off will be to his left. Both teams will. Well, actually, the Zydeco will not change here. The River Dragons will, however. Bersani out there for this face-off. And across from McGuire. He'll win it back. And River Dragons look to move it ahead here. 
Left wing lead finds Jay Krupp, stops in over the line, looking for help up top. Gets it across on the skate. Underwood feeds it deep. Big collision side of the net involving Bershani. Puck free to Wickline. Wickline back door. Couldn't thread it through to Krupp. Here's Larwood. On to the right side to Hansen. Taking away Wickland, and now ahead is Bersani. He's by himself, moving it on goal. Bersani deeks backhand, and it's shut down by the goaltender. Stevens Bucks not out of danger yet, though. Wickline pulled down to the far side. No call on that one. Zonico moving away to center. MJ Graham on the right wing, cutting wide. In behind the net, wraps it around, set it up top. There was nobody there, and the puck out to center. Crowd booing the non-call there. Anderson chased out from behind the Columbus net, gave it up. Graham on the right side into the slot. Here's a shot and a save made. Rebound, puck is under Colgan. Cleared away, not out. A chance there is blocked as Bersani got back in front. Graham tried to center. That one pinballs to Krupp, and Krupp's just going to wedge it on down the ice. River Dragons will get a change. Brilliant opportunities in both ends of the ice. Graham walks it in for the Zydeco. Leaves for Weber on the right side. He's got some room. Wrist shot missed on the stick side. Around at the left point. Puck held in there, but it ends up with Underwood. Onto the near wing. Looking for Anderson. Doe trying to scoop it onto there. There's a shot coming in by Chirac. That one is kicked away by the shin pad of Underwood. Now here's Doe. Petrantonio. Petrantonio to Doe. Petrantonio pass on the right side. He has to scoop it behind the net. Around it comes towards the left point. Slahetka did not arrive in time off the change. Jemayev leads it back. Petrantonio in his skates tied up just over the line and lost the puck out to center. Has to go back for it. Tried to hook it free over there. Robinson draped all over him. Zydeco push in offside. That offside is brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at Old School Barber, S H O P P E dot com. Are your sides a little off? Get lined up at Old School Barber Shop. Book online anytime and 24 7 through their Instagram and Facebook. Reservations highly recommended. 2 0 River Dragons, 422 to go in the second. More to come in just a moment on River Dragons Hockey. River Dragons Hockey. <laughs> With WOW, you now get upfront surprise-free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. WOW. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Back here in the WOW Internet second period. Tonight's second period presented by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Five on five hockey here. Two nothing. Columbus in the lead. 4.20 to go and rolling here in the second period. As that would have sent down the ice. Sonico after it. And Baton Rouge. Able to move it to center. Robinson tried to turn back for it. Store Jahan feeding it back across. Over towards Slahetka. Chirac cut his lead off. Cox back to Chirac. Tapped away to center. Richie had to direct it over. It's dumped back in. Colgan will just let it go. Here she Carrick lost it. Side of the net. Quick shot. Save made there on the turnover. Boy, Brennan Colgan, another good one. Cox on the far side. Left wing, there's a wrister, and just getting a piece of the left pad there was Colgan. In behind the net, Robinson. 
Lahetka in the pile, forced near corner. Cox at the dot, wrist shot well wide. Far side corner. McGuire put it towards the net, sticked into the netting by Brennan Colgan. He'll get himself a whistle with 3.14 to go in the second period. 2-0 Columbus. Justin McDonald and Ryan Hunter, the goal scorers. Face-off will be to the right of Colgan. And it will be Hunter and Moore on the wings for Justin McDonald. McDonald in for the face-off here. And he wins it back right onto the stick of Kirk Underwood. Underwood pressured in the corner, though, lost it. Puck bouncing free in the slot, but it bounces away. And now Hunter up with it, feeding it to Moore. Moore driving the right side. Moore. Trying to skip free of the check there. Back into the pile after it. Ritchie trying to move it along the wall. Not out. Kept in at the point. Ends up left side. Bockwell fanned on a shot. He'll just move it down the rim. And Bockwell knocks his man down with a heavy hit. Right into Larwood. River Dragons maintain possession. Here's Hunter. Puck rolled off the end of his stick. Moore trying to help him keep it in, but it's cleared. Larwood back, and now Ritchie on the right side in, but the puck just a little too far on him. Underwood able to knock it free. More to the line, not out. That shot golfed at wide of the net. Columbus looking to push out, cannot yet. Hansen runs into a shoulder from Underwood. More on the puck, lifts one high in the air. Bounces behind Hunter. Weber turning it back. He takes a blow from McDonald there, but and now moving it ahead is Anderson. Anderson leading the rush into Hunter. Hunter into the slot of the backhand down low. It trickles in on goal. Stevens with the paddle down holds on. Well, if nothing else, that chance proved to be dangerous just because of the way the puck was deflected on the goal. But Stevens, the paddle of the stick flat on the ice, just flops the mid over it to hang on. Face off will be to his left. 2-0, River Dragons in the lead over the Zydeco, 153 to go in the second period. Puck ends up at the right point. The River Dragons. Battling for position on the right side is Doe. Weber backhands to center pass to Graham Anderson. Will win the race back for the puck. Petrantonio deflects it onto himself as he moves it in. Now finds Doe cutting into the backhand. He put it across the crease out the other side. Jamaev, left point, Anderson back to Jamaev, up to the middle of the blue line. Shinkarik to Jamaev, near dot, wrist shot wide. Doe, right half wall, hanging on to it. Puck in his skates. And now free behind the net, inside to go on it. They'll use the glass to get it out. Anderson can't come up with it. Now a chance on the right side for Richardson, in on goal, and a save by Colgan. With exactly one minute to go in the second. Boy, Brendan Colgan has just been so positionally solid in this hockey game. Challenging when he needs to, coming out, making himself big. Taking away a lot of that net for the Zydeco shooters. And he's really saying, hey, if you're gonna beat me, you're gonna have to make a heck of a shot. Pick a corner, find a way to just legitimately beat me and Colgan has been winning the battle. Zydeco in the right side corner of the River Dragon zone, although the puck taken away by Columbus and they break ahead. Wick line, left side, Storjahan in with a shot and that was deflected wide. Looked like perhaps Kitola got a stick on it. At center, here's Kitola pushing it ahead. On to the left wing, backhand, curls in the far corner. Puts it up towards the point, shot coming in, blocker save again, Colgan to the corner, Robinson on it. Underwood knocks it free to the near side, it's Lahetka, Storjahan. And now Bersani in over the line, tees up a slap shot, deflects into the corner. Puck goes right to the side of the net, and that one is held by Stevens. With 5.7 ticks of the clock left to go here in this WOW Internet second period. 
Coming up in our Shredaway second period intermission report. We'll have that Zelmo zip and out of town scoreboard. to we'll look back at the scoring here in this one. Talk a little bit about tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day game coming up. And some fans starting a Let's Go Dragons chant. Right by the blue line there. Inside which this faceoff is going to happen for McDonald. Can he win it back? He does. Bach will holding. Now he lets it go. That wrist shot is blocked. Puck not out of danger. And Hunter's shot is tipped away at the horn. So the River Dragons pick up a couple here in period number two. Most importantly, the streak continues for Justin McDonald and a 2-0 lead over the Zydeco. After 40 minutes of play, Columbus, I think, taking care of business just a little bit better in that second period, doing what they needed to do and playing a little bit more River Dragons hockey. And again, for a team that it's been an eight-day gap in games, uh, it's a little bit of a slow starting first period, but they've kind of gotten themselves into gear here as the pace of this one is really settled in. And again, the goaltenders both remain the stars here so far, in my opinion, and this one through 40 minutes. So we will talk about that as well. Stay tuned, there's more coming your way. The second period intermission report is indeed brought to you by Shredaway. We'll return with that on the other side of the break. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Dragons Hockey. Lemon lime soda. You're looking well. I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm with Starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. Please. Ah, oh, buddy, it'll be okay. <laughs> or not. Huh? Starry does taste better. <laughs> My dog, Georgette, was diagnosed with cancer. After her treatment, we would pass Chick-fil-A. I started seeing Mr. Brian often. She would get her little treat of whipped cream. We recognize each other, Georgette and I do. That particular day, Elaine pulls up. She said, Georgette is cancer free. I came around the corner with Georgette in my car, saw all the employees out there just like clapping and cheering. I started getting really emotional because I was just like, that's so nice. We love all our customers that come through. <laughs> this one just happens to have four legs. Congratulations, Georgette. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Located just across from the new VA hospital. This location has a drive through and is open six days a week. Tell us you heard this and receive 25% off your first visit. Wade Cleaners, since 1939. And we're back here in the second period intermission report brought to you by Shredaway. Tom Callahan here with you. 2 nothing. River Dragons in the lead. I want to say thanks to everybody joining us here. No matter how you're checking us out, the River Dragons all season long broadcast on the radio side of 106.9 Rocks. And tonight on television, we're on CTN Christian Television Network, available on cable systems all throughout the Chattahoochee Valley. And we thank them for being a tremendous partner here. Tonight is Faith and Family Night. 
here with the River Dragons and a great crowd on hand here tonight sharing faith, fellowship, and you know what, some fun. It's always a good time to come out to River Dragons hockey. The pucks have been chucked. That's what you're looking at down on the ice right now. If you've never seen this before, those are basically rubber foam pucks that you can purchase when you come to the games and take a chance at winning any of the prizes on those banners. And so we have great prizes from sponsors like Brewster's Ice Cream, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, Zelmo Zip In, so many great sponsors, Urban Air, uh, just places anything you see a banner for that was down there on the ice. If you land a puck on there, you've got a shot at winning it. Let me tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. You think you can control these things? It's pretty tough. <laughs> it really is, but it's an awful lot of fun. It's the only time you're allowed to throw anything on the ice at the Civic Center. But uh, it's it's great fun, and you know what? We really appreciate our sponsors, too. And uh, we have a great new sponsor I do want to call attention to. Uh, actually, two great new sponsors. Freedom Fido's is one of them, and Rivertown Subaru is another one. Just joining us this week, our thanks to both of them for getting on board with the River Dragons Hockey. We are so pleased. And maybe you have a business that you might be interested in being a part of River Dragons Hockey. We would absolutely love to talk to you about ways that we can be involved. And the River Dragons love to do a lot in the community, get back to the community. And uh, we also appreciate our partners who help us do that as well for everything, including nights like Fan Appreciation Night, which is coming up here on April 13th. And of course, Military Appreciation Night, which sold out for the second year in a row this year and just being able to bring soldiers out to, uh, you know, have a little R&R, &R, just have a good time. Forget the uh, the grind of everyday life as they go through training here. But I'll tell you what, it's a, a special thing to be a part of here in the Chattahoochee Valley. And again, we thank everybody for being a part of it. And by the way, I love the dog tested, dog approved Subaru commercials. They're just absolutely adorable. So <laughs> if you've seen those, those are those are fantastic. So we, we really appreciate those. All right. Two periods down. It's 2-0. River Dragons in the lead. There was no scoring in the first period. And into the second period, as we take a look at the scoring wrap, Columbus, I think, came out, um, let's say, a little more in gear, I think is the way we're going to say that. And the River Dragons did carry the play a little bit more. I think it was much, it was still even, don't get me wrong, in the second period, but much more even. And maybe even tilted a little towards the Zydeco in period number one, whereas in period number two, Columbus came out and said, all right, we're going to really try to go to work, puck possession, uh, working in the zone, getting our numbers together, working those cycles, moving the puck around, establishing that flow in that zone time, and they did, and they got those pucks to the net. And i tell you what, this first goal by Justin McDonald, his 32nd of the year, just a thing of beauty, and showcase the casing a, a great heads-up look and great patience from Nathan Bockwell. The goal at 342, Bockwell is the one who comes down from the left point, ends up with the puck, and at the near post is looking across with his head up, finds McDonald at the bottom of the far circle for the one-timer. McDonald's 32nd of the year, Ryan Hunter also an assist at 342. And Columbus is off and rolling. Now with that goal, Justin McDonald's streak, now 33 straight games with a point, 74 points in that stretch. An unbelievable run for McDonald. So congratulations to him as uh, he just continues to put up phenomenal numbers. Absolutely phenomenal. And then the River Dragons at 1236 on another nice pass and a one-timer for Ryan Hunter from the slot is 23rd of the year. Moore and Shinkarik, the assists on the goal, and Hunter parked right between the hash marks. Somehow the defense missed him, and he uncorks very quickly for the goal, and that makes it 2-0 River Dragons. That was all the scoring in the period. Columbus in the shots on goal parade. Now this is rare, but right now the River Dragons are being outshot. And that does not happen very often. In fact, it's only happened twice this season. But right now, 16 shots for the Zydeco in that period. And I want to talk about the back half of that period because, as I said, it felt like the River Dragons really were more in control until late in the period. Shots finished 16-8. But in the last probably, I'd say, seven or eight minutes, and certainly in the last five, the Zydeco began to push once again 
back on the River Dragons end, and that's where Brennan Colgan took the game back over. Just very solid, very positionally sound, making big saves. Out where he needs to be on the angles, doing a great job out there. So Colgan uh, really is a big story for the River Dragons here tonight, and you can't talk about a 2-0 lead through two periods without talking about the performance he's had here tonight. But 16-8 were the shots in the period, and 29-20 in favor of the Zynico now through two periods of play. Power plays in that period, the River Dragons did not have any ch chances at the man advantage. Meanwhile, the Zydeco had the man advantage twice. They are 0 for 3 in the game. They went 0 for 2 in that period. So that's where we stand. 40 minutes in the books. Let's take a break in the Shredaway second period intermission report. When we come back on the other side of it, we will take a look at that Zelmo zipping out of town. Scoreboard, plenty of out of town action going on. In the FPHL, the NHL, and men's college hoops will update that as well. 2-0 River Dragons after two. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Get two entrees and an appetizer for $25 only at Applebee's. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. Tim Hortons has a new $6 breakfast bundle with a mouthwatering breakfast sandwich, a golden hash brown with a small hotter iced coffee, and a classic donut made for your me time. Oh, and yours too, the $6 breakfast bundle. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new... Doing well out there, taking care, staying safe. I know we've had some pretty uh, pretty big storms cutting across the country here the last couple of days and tornadoes in some places and what have you. So I just hope everybody is uh, paying attention to the weather. This time of year it can get a little rippy. And uh, just stay safe and pay attention. And, well, I'll tell you what, if you... Uh, this is something I had to learn when I first moved to the Midwest... Uh, but it stayed with me ever since. If you're new to this kind of weather, as I was, I didn't know I grew up in the Northeast, in the land of ice and snow. Uh, you know, you just bring your shovel. Apparently, if the sky turns green, that's bad. Real bad. That's, that's, that's tornado time. <laughs> and I've only seen that happen one time, but it legitimately does turn green. And the other thing is, if it sounds like a train's coming... Uh, get in your basement because that's a tornado. So, and it's probably too late if you're the, the train. The train's on the tracks. Uh, just get to shelter. So, those are my two tornado, Tom's tornado tips. 
Brought to you by uh, Tom's Tornado Avoidance Class. That's all I got. But I hear those are good tips. All right, let's go to the out-of-town scoreboard. Brought to you by Zelmo's zip in Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999 and in the FPHL. We are now final at Big Boy Arena. 6-4, the Motor City Rockers beat the Port Huron Prowlers, so no comeback two nights in a row for Port Huron. At first arena, now late in the third period, the Danbury Hattricks have a 3-1 lead over the Elmira River Sharks. At the Apex Center in Whitfield, Virginia, the Blue Ridge Bobcats have come back to tie it up with the Carolina Thunderbirds at two after two periods of play. We'll keep our eyes on that one. And then after the second period at the Visions Veterans Memorial Coliseum, the Binghamton Black Bears with a 4 0 lead on the Mississippi Sea Wolves. In the NHL earlier today, we had some matinee efforts, including the Red Wings 4 1 over the Sabres. In overtime, Senators 4 3 over the Islanders. Rangers top the Penguins 7 4. Coyotes 4 1 winners over the Devils. Now, late in the third period, the Tampa Bay Lightning have a 5 3 lead over the Florida Panthers. Panthers' net is empty as they try to find two goals to tie it up in the remaining 92 seconds. At the second intermission, Flyers and Bruins are tied up at two. Also at the second intermission, the Blue Jackets now in front of the Sharks by a score of three to one. And also through two periods of play, the Flames three two up on the Montreal Canadiens. In the second, the Maple Leafs three two up on the Hurricanes. And remember that game was scoreless after one. These games are through 20 minutes. The Dallas Stars have opened up a three nothing lead on the LA Kings. Boy, the Kings are a big question mark heading towards the playoffs right now. And they continue to be up and down. Wild and Blues are scoreless after one. And then coming up a little over an hour from now, 10 o'clock Eastern time, you've got the Avalanche at the Oilers, Predators at the Kraken, and the Capitals are at the Canucks. Men's college hoops, plenty of big men's action going on today. And right now, only one game left going on, the ACC Tournament Final, number four, North Carolina is trailing NC State early in the first 20 to 13. Every other game final from earlier today in the Big Ten semifinal, number three, Purdue upset by Wisconsin, 76-75. In the SEC semifinal, number 12, Auburn, 73-66 winners over Mississippi State to advance. And in the other Big Ten tournament semifinal, number 13, Illinois, 98-87 winners over Nebraska. In the Big 12 championship final, number seven, Iowa State finishes off number one, Houston with a tremendous defensive effort, 69-41 over number one, Houston. That is a big effort out of Iowa State. And in the Big East Tournament Final, number two, UConn, 73-57 over number 10, Marquette. So that's it for our out-of-town scoreboard, and that is it for our Shredaway second period intermission report. When we come back, it'll be time for third period action. The River Dragons and the Zydeco, 2-0. Columbus in the lead on goals by Justin McDonald and Ryan Hunter through 40 minutes of play. We're back with more in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change.
sitting atop a layer of delicious beans, it's a sip away from perfection. That's what we're looking for. Add a delicious, refreshing Pepsi and we've achieved absolute nacho nirvana. Because while you can pile those nachos high with every spicy, cheesy, savory topping, there's no topping a cool Pepsi finish. Nachos, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Columbus Diagnostic Center, the area's clear choice for diagnostic imaging. CDC Northside features the area's first and only 3T MRI, the most powerful MRI available, and our new 64-slice CT scanner, cutting-edge imaging that's available at both locations. For over 30 years, patient comfort, lower costs, and uncompromising dedication remain our top priority. Clearer results for a more accurate diagnosis. Columbus Diagnostic Center and CDC Northside, technology with a human touch. And back for third period action, the River Dragons coming on to the ice here at the Columbus. Two-nothing, River Dragons in the lead. Justin McDonald and Ryan Hunter, the goal scorers. The Zydeco will return to the ice as well, led by goaltender Bailey Stevens, who's played very well here tonight. He stopped 18 of 20. Brennan Colgan has stopped 29 from the Zydeco. And the faceoff at center will be five on five. You would imagine the power play pendulum might swing back the way of the River Dragons here in this Kinetic Credit Union third period, but we'll have to wait and see. Two power plays in the second, both went to the Zydeco. Overall in the game, the Zydeco 0 for 3, River Dragons 0 for 1 with a man advantage. Both goals have been five on five. And in what is very much a rarity, it's only happened twice on the season. Right now, the River Dragons are being outshot 29-20. But they do, as I mentioned, have that 2-0 lead up on the scoreboard. So I'm sure they'd much rather outscore than outshoot the opponent. But typically they do both. It's also rare to have a low scoring affair against the Zanico in 11 games so far this year. Columbus has scored 64 game goals against the Zanico. The only team they have more against this year is the Mississippi Seawolves, 66 goals in 11 games against the Seawolves. And we're underway with the River Dragons rolling left to right in those teal fifth anniversary jerseys here for period number three. Larwood trying to step in on the left side of backhand feed across, and that one didn't connect. Puck right up the front, and now McDonald will take it away. He's got Hunter, gives it to him on the left side. Hunter, off angle chance from the corner, and that one skips around the glass and out of the zone. Moore at center, trying to fight his way back in on the right side. Kyle Moore down the wing, lost it in the corner back there. Now they'll be turned the other way, Baton Rouge to center, but they cough it up almost immediately. Here's Anderson playing it to an open wing. And push up after it. Get a little pesky on the four check there while the River Dragons change. Just over a minute into the third. Graham, left side for the Zydeco, into the Columbus end. Centering attempt, knocked away. Jamaev kicked it out. And now give it up, here's Petrantonio just in over the line. Petrantonio, right side, has a lot of traffic. Feeds it down low, Doe chases far side. Up to the half boards, Austin Doe, wrapped up on the wall. Puck free, and here's Jamaev. Down low, Jamaev pressured, curls, left side. Looking to move it across. Jamaev on the left wing. Trying to walk in front of the backhand, a shot, and that one is tipped into the netting. And we'll get a whistle here, 143 into the period. River Dragons controlling the offensive zone draw. Here's Underwood up top with a shot, bouncing in on goal. Stevens again, the save and a hold on.
Face off to the left of the Zydeco zone, or Zydeco net. River Dragon, Storge Hahn will send it across the goal mouth. Shot for the left point, save made on that drive by Slahetka. Again, Stevens continuing to keep his team in this hockey game. Zydeco the other way, but Robinson had it taken away. Back out it goes. Hitting picked up a little bit in the second period, and it's starting again here early in the third. We play 220 into this third period. On the left side here, Chirac trying to dance into the corner behind the net. Chirac around after it on the right side and had it taken away in the slot. Chopped into the corner by Slahetka, but not out of the zone. Chirac, Cox, far side. Chirac behind the cage. Looking up top, pass blocked. Hunter Bersani on it. In a little bit of trouble, but stick handles out of it. Feeds it across. Lahetka back to Bersani. And Zydeco peel out for a change here. River Dragons kind of doing likewise. And Lahetka ahead. Now feeds Wickline on the left wing. Wickline in for a shot that is blocked. Fed back around to Wickline. Into the slot. Moving in. Swam with a shot. That went off a stick and into the near corner. Out the far side, Zydeco able to move it to center as Richie backhands that one away. Down it goes. That's icing, actually. That gives us a chance to take a break. Ten seconds along the network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. Third period is brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. 2 nothing River Dragons in the lead. 3.22 into the third. Faceoff coming up to the right of the Sonico net. Shoved into the right wing corner. Krupp behind the net. Jamaev in front looking for Swan. Puck didn't get to him. Civek taking it away, and he moves it out to center. Shinkarik will back up on it there. If he did head on the left wing side. Oh, boy. Just avoiding too many men. The Sonico there. Heads up change. And now... Here's Krupp, ooh, threw it in front. Swan just couldn't hang on to it. He was all by himself there, but the puck went off the toe of his stick. And now the, oh, falling is Colgan in behind the net as he went out to play it. Got away with it as the puck bounced off the side of the net and the River Dragons defensively helping out their goaltender. Now pass that, here's Krupp off his mid, in for the shot, and he missed high glove. Oh boy, Jay Krupp snuck in behind the D for a great chance. Krupp. Throwing a hit in the corner there, lost his stick, but the puck stays down low. Now, the Zanico moving it away. If they can, they turn it over at the line. Swam with a shot, left pad save, big rebound. Shakarik over one time, McDonald scores! Justin McDonald puts that one over the left shoulder of Stevens. It's 3 0 River Dragons. How about that one, Justin McDonald with the pass from Shinkarik. Just sitting, waiting, just uh, it's like a shark lurking over there. McDonald's got a second of the night, 33rd of the season. And there's only so many you can ask Bailey Stevens to stop. holding it in on the right side. Right now they say Swan and Krupp with the assist. That will definitely change. It should end up being Swan and Shinkarik. It was Shinkarik that fed the pass. And the rebound came off the left pad of Stevens after the shot by Swan. Puck at center ends up on the right side. Here's McDonald in over the line. He's looking in trouble, but skates through it. Flips it into space. Laheka cutting right in on goal. Steven save on the doorstep. Now Cox the other way. Remember how I told you the River Dragons are being outshot 29-20 coming into the period? It's 6-0 Columbus to start here. There's the first shot of the period by the Zydeco. And as 
Colgan flicked it away with a blocker. Goes all the way down the ice. And now turned over in front to Moore. Moore at the side of the net. Doesn't have any help. Has to go behind the net. Waiting. Trying to feed it in front for Storjahan. Boy, Moore is at the end of an absolute long shift. But a great job by him here. Despite being pretty weary to keep two guys away from the puck until Storjahan joined the pile. Now Moore's finally going to get to the bench. Puck sent away to center. Cox deflecting it into the River Dragon zone. Turn right back. Here's Wick line up one on one. Storjahan coming in. Wick line leaving. They weave. Storjahan. Wick line. Trip down. No call. Back the other way comes Cox. In over the line. Feeding it in front. Chirac taken away by Bersani. Clears to center. Columbus steals it back. Here they come. Storjahan left side moving in. Try to feed Underwood. Cleared away. Back comes Chirac. This game's opening up. Robinson looking back. Door in the puck. Did not connect on that pass there. Now clear for Wickline was behind him, but it will not have enough gas or icing. Columbus trying to hurry a change behind the play before the Zydeco are able to move it. And they see offside at the line, although I thought perhaps the Zydeco brought it back in. But either way, we get the whistle. 6.49 into this third period. 3-0 River Dragons now. McDonald's got two here tonight. We're back with more in just a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We're always going a million different directions. But Kinetic Credit Union makes it easy for all of us to stay connected all in one place. With the Kinetic mobile app, we both can monitor our accounts on the go. We can create account alerts so we know when there's a change. Apply for a loan or credit card. We can even open a new account. Plus, you can quickly pay bills, transfer money, or make a deposit anytime, anywhere. Kinetic makes our life a whole lot easier. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we... Um. And we are back here, period number three, three nothing River Dragons. 6.49 gone here in the final frame, which is brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. It is five on five hockey action here. And right now up front, the River Dragons have Alexander Jamea Austin Doe and the captain, Josh Petrantonio out there. Defensively, it is Carter Shinkarik. And his partner, the rookie, I'll tell you what, the very impressive rookie so far in Hugh Anderson. Really like the way Anderson's been fitting in with this River Dragons hockey team. Seems to uh, be learning when to jump, when to rush the puck, when to dump it in, but showing off some wheels as well. He's pretty quick, but can play a physical style. So hopefully number 12 continues to develop here for Columbus. River Dragons push in, here's Jamea in with a chance, and Stevens a left pad save as it's moved around to the right point, but it hopped over the stick of Shinkarik out of the zone. Jamea will leave it back, Shinkarik to center. Columbus, right side, can't push ahead. They'll try to regroup in the defensive zone. Zanico picking up the four check here, but the pass beats it. Left side, Jamaev moving in. High slot, fed it behind Dole. Petrantonio covering the point. His shot, that one hits Shinkarik, and it's cleared out. Right back in, River Dragons, right side. Jamaev to the line. Shinkarik tried to center, hit Hansen. Zanico looking to clear, taking away Jamaev. Right wing. To the right point, Shinkarik over to the left side. Anderson a shot blocked by a diving Larwood. That behind the net, out the near side, centering attempt and blocked away by the goal stick there. Alert by Stevens. This is cleared to center. Glove down there by Krupp. He'll feed it back and now Jamaev in. He's got room. He scores. And pardon me, that's Swan. Swan with a wrister through traffic. Krupp feeds him as he comes in over the line. It's Sequoia Swan using the defender as a screen. Let's a wrist shot go that surprises Stevens up high. 
8.06 into the third. And Columbus has moved up 4 nothing. And how about Sequoia Swan? Just his fourth goal of the season. But boy, you love to see it. Give him some confidence heading in towards the playoffs there. That was a heck of a wrist shot. River Dragons will try to push in again. McDonald at the line is offside. Offside is brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at OldSchoolBarberSHOPPE.com. OldSchoolBarberShop.com. Book your next appointment online. If your sides are a little off, get lined up at Old School Barber Shop. Reservations highly recommended. And don't forget, you can book online 24-7 through their Instagram and Facebook. Sent in from center ice. Columbus trying to move it onto their zone, and they do. Left side, Hunter. In the slot with a rolling puck. Moore, right side, at the circle, back in front for Hunter. Hit him in the skates and taken away by the Zydeco. As they cleared out down the ice and now a race. Will Graham beat it out? Yes, no icing. Underwood's got to play it over to the near side. Nine gone here in the third. Four nothing River Dragons. There's a centering feed off the heel of Colgan's goal stick. Cleared out by Columbus, a rolling puck. That's going to skip right in on goal. Well, they blew a dent for icing, but Stevens had to make a save on that puck. That faceoff will go on the dot at center. Boy, that was not a, not a good whistle. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can appreciate that. PA announcer uh, Dana, Dana Barker saying an alleged icing. Eh, they'll drop it on the dot at center ice. That's what they do. It's better than a face-off back in the Columbus zone, I'll tell you that much. Draw one back, Shinkarik on it. He'll try to move it across, get it back, and now lost at the corner. Cox battling with him. Cox to the near dot. Chirac feeds the right point. Shot coming in and off the shin pads there of Hunter. And around the rim to the near side here. Bockwell. Left side to Hunter. Hunter tried to skip through a check. Pile there just in front of the Zydeco bench. Bockwell in. And now it's pulled out by Bersani, but poked away from him. Crowd getting excited there as everybody came into the pile, but not much resulted from that. Left side lead for Cox. Did he get a tip on it? No, that's icing. 9.57 to go on the third. 4 nothing River Dragons in the lead. Time for us to grab a break here in this Kinetic Credit Union third period. We're back in the more in a moment. Columbus River Dragons hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Whoa! Set the tone. Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job. Woo! Yeah. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. 9.57 to go in the third period. Tom Callahan here with you. Thanks for joining us on the radio side, 106.9 Rocks. On the television side tonight, Christian Television Network broadcasting tonight's Faith and Family Night game. We appreciate them. 
a fine partner of River Dragons Hockey. And we're always on YouTube at Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Or, well, uh, at Columbus River Dragons is the name of the YouTube channel. Let's be clear. 4 nothing your score. Columbus in the lead. Justin McDonald's got two tonight. There's a shot coming in. Stevens is safe. Puck to the left point. Anderson holding it in. Bounces to the near side. Cox gave it up at center. Slahetka banking it back. Here's Wickline moving in, waiting, looking. Wickline had it poked away behind the net. He'll try the far side. Centering attempt. Storjahan puck up in the air. Batted towards the line. Not out. Jamaev holding it in. Storjahan. Wickline. Try to go back to Storjahan. Never got the puck around to him. Left point held in by Anderson. Wickline. Dams it back far side. Jamea battling in front of Bouncer. And the River Dragons just couldn't manage to get a shot away there. But the puck's still not out. Wickline keeping it in as he chopped the stick out of the hand, and that's going to draw a penalty. Wickline knocked the stick out of the hand of McGuire, and that's going to result in a slashing call. So Cody Wickline into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Fourth power play of the night for the Zydeco, where they're 0 for 3. First power play for either side here in the third. Comes at 10.55. Draw to the left of Brendan Colgan. River Dragons out shooting the Zydeco in this period, eight nothing. But Baton Rouge to the power play now. So let's see what they can put together here with possession on the right side. There's a shot that missed the net. Around to the left point, Hansen holding it in on the wall, taken away by Swan, and he clears it out. Sequoia Swan's got the fourth goal here in this contest this evening. Good to see Sequoia Swan back on the score sheet, just his fourth of the year, but up and down the lineup, River Dragons have been getting contributions here all year. That's how they've been successful. It's that depth. Graham up top of the slot, walks around one with a wrist shot, and he scores. A shot to the low blocker, beats Brendan Colgan. A nifty move by Graham to get himself loose, and then fires it home. A power play goal breaks the shutout. And the Zonico are on the board, it's 4-1. Baton Rouge one for four with a man advantage. Eleven thirty-two time of the goal. MJ Graham netting his eleventh of the season. Well, let's see how the River Dragons respond here. As that puck is wedged out, and no one knows where it went. Out of play. So Hansen picks up one of the assists, Kitola the other one. Face off will be coming up to the right of the Zonico net. And Baton Rouge pushing ahead. Here they come up the left side in the potential two on one, but that goes by the boards as Chirac lost the handle on the puck. Now Robinson spun down in the corner over there. Cox behind the net, tied up by McDonald. Puck goes right up to the point. Kitola steps into a shot, and that one is tipped wide. Petrantonio back the other way, getting it ahead of McDonald. McDonald will just wedge it into the left side corner. McDonald centering, looking for Petrantonio. Tipped to the point, not out. Held in Shinkarik onto the left side, and it's popped up top. Moving across, Slahetka with a shot save. Stevens has to paddle the rebound away. Slahetka behind the net. Rolls it around and up the wall. Zadiko able to deflect it out to center. Jake Cox moving ahead on the left wing side. In space, knocked down as he cut across by Shinkarik. And now lead the other way into the skates of McDonald. Had to reach back for it. And now another big hit. And now it's getting physical out there. And we got a penalty call in behind the play. 
Do we have one or do we have two? I think it's just going to be Shinkarik. So Shinkarik into the box for cross checking. So he goes into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. It is power play number five of the night for the Zonico, who are one for four. Colgan taking his time, getting his mitts on back over in the net area. Giving his team a little bit of a rest here. Face off will be to his left. 7 8 to go in this third period. The Zydeco have an opportunity to really make this a game here if they're able to score again in the power play. Hansen on the left side. Left half wall. He'll feed the left corner. Larwood will switch with him. Up top, Larwood across the blue line. Onto the right wing, here's Graham. His shot, save made, rebound. Underwood to the line, not out. Kept in, and again the Zydeco. Move it around up top. Graham on the right side, quick wrist shot, blocked in front. Bersani on the puck, he'll backhand it down the ice. Stevens will let it die in the corner. Zydeco switch a few personnel. There's a pass tipped on the left side, Hansen directed back the other way, Larwood who's immediately run into there. Jameaf and Swan tangle. Now back in come the Zydeco, a shot in on goal. So he made rebound, Graham right on top of it, he scores. Or did he? And now Hansen coming to the net, and now we get a dog pile right to the near post. The goal light never went on. I don't think the puck went in. Hansen reacted like a goal was scored, then started jamming at the pads of Brendan Colgan. There was never a signal from the referee one way or the other. And then Hansen got crushed at the side of the net, and that's when the pile formed. So I imagine we're getting at least one penalty out of this, if not multiples. The real question is, where did the puck go? I didn't see it go in. I saw the celebration from the Zydeco. The goal light didn't go on. And again, the referee never signaled one way or the other. Didn't indicate a goal, didn't wave anything off. And I'm not even sure if he blew the whistle. Well, they just took Shinkarik's power play time off the board, so. But we have a referee conversation with the captains at the crease, the referee's crease in front of the scorekeeper's uh, bench here, so. There's nothing on the score sheet right now. And I think Petrantonio is arguing his case is saying there's never any indication that that puck went in. Let's see here what the discussion, nope, the goal's up on the board. It is going to be another Zonico power play goal. Boy, that is a huge goal for Baton Rouge. 13.54, time of the power play goal. They are now two for five on the power play and the River Dragons penalty kill has given up two straight power play goals here in the third. At this point, we're heading towards an absolutely wild finish. Power plays are 5-1 in favor of the Zynico.
And we didn't get any penalties onto the pile after that puck. As they are now saying went in the net. And they're saying it's Hansen's goal from Graham at 13.54. Well, this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Here come the Zydeco again. Left side, Cox tipped into the left wing corner. Shinkarik will play it around to the far side. Hunter tips it on. Now McDonald ahead. Looking to move it to Moore. Moore pressuring Ozelinch. Steals it away. Left side in front. Backhand McDonald, and he just missed the post. Back in front, McDonald curling in the high slot with a wrist shot deflected wide. Hunter in the far side corner. Ryan Hunter to the left point, and it's out past Lahetka. And now Robinson hooked up. Oh, Slahetka just saved a break the other way. McDonald flips it ahead, wanted to get it to Moore cleared away. McDonald will move it back in. Kitola after it. Far side, Zydeco wrap it back in behind the net. Kitola on it again. Zydeco try to break the zone, they cannot. Jemayev couldn't come up with it though. And now here's MJ Graham leading the charge, right side cutting in on goal, Graham is shut down. Colgan to his left. Graham runs into Petrantonio. Puck in a pile there, is cleared towards the line, not out, kept in. Puck sitting off a skate in the slot, now moved up. Here's Petrantonio up two on two, Jemayev with him, now Doe busting in three on two. Jemayev with a puck tipped up high in the air, just missing on the far side as Doe is spilled down to the ice. Now MJ Graham racing right back the other way as Sewerstein with him. Gets it across, shot, and the save made left head. Colgan, puck back to him, and he holds on. Well, buckle up. This one's not over yet. 4.18 to go in the third. And again, a wrestling match at the side of the River Dragons net. We'll get to our final break of the frame. River Dragons up 4-2. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of River Dragons hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! time! Set the tone! Kyle, tell your shoes, tell your shoes. Yeah, good job! Woo! Yeah! Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and go. All right, 4.18 to go in the third. Tom Callahan here with you, and it is 4-2. River Dragons in the lead, but the Zydeco have scored twice here in the third, both on the power play, and they have made it a game. Don't forget, these same two teams back at it again tomorrow, 4.05 p.m. Eastern time. Tickets on sale for the St. Patrick's Day matinee. We hope you can join us for that. River Dragons will wear specialty green jerseys. Auctioned off on the Dash app. Text the word DASH to 66866. Zydeco in with a shot, rifled high over top of the net. Comes around to the near side, and Wickline will move it out to center. Zydeco pushed back in, but Larwood's pass. Taken away by Bersani. Gets it ahead, Storja Han backhands into the left wing corner. Wickline up after it. Wickline on the wall. They try to work it free over there. Bersani. Away from Rick Lyon, he lets it go to the left point. Shot coming in, tipped on goal, and that save made there. Stevens puck to the point, held in Shinkarik. Gets it over to the left side. Rister, and that one fanned on, ends up behind the net. Storja Han trying to pinch it off there in the far side wall, battling McGuire, puck to the line, not out. Again, a shot, that one floats to the glass. Almost found the referee hiding over there in the corner. Bersani sends it back around the rim. Bockwell to the left point, able to keep it in. Here's Bersani behind the net. Up the near side, free with it. 
Is Torjahan to the right point. Shankarik feeding it back deep. Hit a stanchion. Comes right back up the near side. Hansen able to clear it out. Columbus desperately needs a change here. They're going to try to get the Hunter line back out there. And here's Ryan Hunter up the right side with Moore. Sends it around behind the rim. And now Justin McDonald. Hansen on the regroup, though, on the Zonico right wing side. Lost it. Kicked right in front. McDonald trying to backhand it across to Moore. Puck blocked on the way through. Zinico able to at least get it out of the zone. Now they step in offside. Columbus a free regroup here. They'll try the left wing. Anderson will stop. Curl back with it. He'll go cross ice to McDonald. McDonald in over the line. Into space. Here's Moore. And he had a bouncing puck to contend with. Couldn't shoot. Kyle Moore, right wing side, trying to use the body to keep it in. He's pulled down to the ice, back up the left side. Robinson trying to walk in on Slahetka. Slahetka back to the puck, 205 to go here in the third. 4 2 River Dragons. Boy, this game is really picking up in intensity. Here's Cox on the left side, rubbed out on the wall. Anderson, bottom of the circle, a shot blockered away by Colgan to the far side. Hunter ends up with it. He'll push it off the dasher, not out. Buck ends up in the right wing corner. Anderson pins his man against the boards. McDonald trying to help out. Puck deflected, not out. Kept in by Weber up top. Slahetka trying to backhand it away. Now here they come three on one. McDonald moving in. Petrantonio with him. Gives it to him. Petrantonio in. Wrist shot. Steven save. And he holds the rebound. Oh, Petrantonio and McDonald almost combining for one there. With 122 to go into third, River Dragons up 4-2. The Zydeco are going to take a timeout. And at this point, the faceoff is deep in the Zydeco end to the right of the goaltender, Bailey Stevens. So you have to imagine with a draw win, the goaltender's coming out right away. And they're going to try to move this puck up ice. They need two in the next buck 22. And there's really no time to hesitate to get the netminder out of there. So for the River Dragons, meanwhile, I think you try to, if you don't control this draw, you definitely want to directed at the very least back to the corner so you can pin the puck in the corner and just chew off more of the clock. Jemayev is out there for this crucial faceoff. In across from Larwood. Jemayev wins it back but it scoots across and Weber will move it ahead. There goes the goaltender. And the net is empty. Puck dumped into the corner. And the Zydeco, extra man out. But the puck with Petrantonio, and he'll lift the wedge high in the air that only gets as far as center. Larwood gloves it down there, trying to walk back in. Lost it. That put the playoffs high. Petrantonio feeding it back. And Columbus, Bockwell with a bank pass on the right side. A little too far ahead for Jemayev. Turn the other way. Bockwell on it again to the empty net. But that one has stopped in front. And the Zydeco back the other way, led by Hansen. 45 seconds to go. Baton Rouge needs two. Net is empty. Doe with a flip to the empty net. Missed it. That's icing. Maybe you don't mind that shot at the empty net because you're up by two, and it does give your line a little bit of a chance to rest. Of course, you can't change the line, but it gives them a little bit. Somewhat of a breather here. 38 seconds to go. Face off to the right of Colgan. One back by Baton Rouge. Puck at the left point. Kitola with a shot. Save made. Rebound to the near side corner. Graham turns it on goal. Cleared away. Doe on it. Looking. Waiting. Gets it across to center. Gloved down by Petrantonio. Petrantonio trying to move it ahead. And Jamev chance of the empty net. And he hit the goal post. Had to get that one past Hansen. And now that one goes off a body at the Zonico bench. 12.9 seconds to go in the third. And the faceoff is going to be back in the Zonico end. 
So they're going to have to put the goaltender back in there, and I can't imagine that Bailey Stevens comes out again. McDonald is going to take the face off instead of Bersani here. So he takes a quick look at the clock. And McDonald wins that draw back to the left. Points. Laheka is going to head back down the ice. And he's just going to curl in his own end, run the clock out here. Slahetka off the glass the other way, and that's pretty much going to do it. River Dragons hold on for a 4-2 win here tonight over the Baton Rouge Cynical. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we're the Pepsi Post Game Show. The weight cleaners, three stars of the game are up next. Stay tuned for that. The out-of-town scoreboard, the scoring wrap, and more coming your way. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. She fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. And back just in time for a three stars of the game brought to you by Wade Cleaners, the official cleaners of Torch and Scorch. Sequoia Swan is your third star here tonight. Swan with a goal and an assist. Second star, Ryan Hunter with a goal and an assist. McDonald, your first star here tonight. Two goals, including the game winner for McDonald. And the streak continues now 33 games of the point. And we'll see if we can get our first star interview here from down on the ice. They might be having a microphone issue, however. So hopefully they get that ironed out here. There we go. Anything you guys are working on or anything else after in the last one, 
defense and defense all well that. Defense is a really important part of the team, y'all. And your number one star, Justin McDonald, here this evening. Sequoia Swan, number three, Ryan Hunter, number two, each of them with a goal and an assist. McDonald, two goals in the game tonight, including the game winner, and now 33 straight games with a point as he continues to stretch out his own FPHL record for consecutive games with a point. Back in the morning, the Pepsi post game show. We'll wrap up the scoring on the other side of the break, and then we will also have a look back at our Zelmo Zip and Out of Town scoreboard. Stay tuned. She fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. River Dragons. Big victory tonight for the Columbus River Dragons. 4-2 over the Baton Rouge Zydeco. These same two teams back at it again tomorrow afternoon. 4.05 p.m. for a St. Patrick's Day Sunday matinee. Hope you can join us for that with the River Dragons. Wearing specialty St. Patrick's Day jerseys. They'll be auctioned off in the Dash app. Text DASH to 66866. That's 66866. And you can create your profile, make Columbus Sports your favorite, and every time there's something going on with the River Dragons, whether the auction's in progress or it's coming up, we're going to let you know through the Dash app. Also want to remind you to say big at River City Swing Sets, your local Gorilla Plate Sets authorized showroom, offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying, Go River Dragons! Time to take a look back at the scoring wrap here in this one as Columbus with a 4-2 win tonight over Baton Rouge. No scoring in the first period to tell you about. It all started in the second. 3.42 in. Justin McDonald would score his first of two on the evening from Hunter and Bockwell. Bockwell with a great cross-ice feed. Came down for the left point. Found McDonald on the far side. And he puts the shot away for his 32nd to make it 1-0. Then at 12.36, Ryan Hunter's 23rd of the year from Moore and Shinkarik made it 2-0 River Dragons after two periods of play. Into the third we go, 4.28. McDonald, his 33rd, second of the night from Shinkarik and Swan. Now it's a 3-0 game, and then Swan caps the scoring at 8.06 from the River Dragons side with his fourth from Jay Krupp. Swan cuts in over the line, a wrist shot, lets it go. Might have surprised Bailey Stevens, might have been deflected on the way through there, but it looked like Swan used the defender as a screen, let the wrister go, and in under the crossbar, the puck finds a way. 4-0, but the Zydeco 
were about to make a comeback. At 11.32, they would score the first of two consecutive power play goals. MJ Graham with a nice move in the high slot area, shakes free and gives himself a good look at the net. He finds a way to beat Colgan Low on the stick side from Hansen and Keitola at 11.32, and it's 4-1. Then a subsequent power play called. Shankarik ends up in the boxer cross checking in a 1354, a goal mouth scramble, and a goal awarded to Hansen from Graham. That makes it really interesting. 4 2 down the stretch, the Zynico pull the goaltender, but are unable to find a way to score any more goals. And in fact, a late icing call against the Zydeco with a face off in the offensive zone. Seals the deal as they had to put Bailey Stevens back in net and never got a chance to get him out after that. 4-2, your final shots by period for the Zydeco. 13 in the first, 16 in the second, 7 in the third for 36. And for the River Dragons, 12, 8, and 10 for 30. Only the third time this season the River Dragons have been outshot in a hockey game. Power plays the Zydeco finish 2 for 5, and the River Dragons finish 0 for 1 on the man advantage. Back with the Zelmo zip in out of town scoreboard and we'll wrap things up here in just a moment. Stay tuned. There's more coming your way in just a moment. This is the Pepsi post game show on Columbus River Dragons hockey. Six nine, ooh she fine. Hoping she can sing it to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. To the window, to the window, to the wall, to the wall. Grab a Pepsi Wild Jerry and get wild. At Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, our focus is you. Even though we performed more than 1,300 joint replacements last year, we treat you like you are our only patient. Your surgeon explains your joint replacement, so nothing is a surprise. Our team knows your treatment plan and we work together to get you back on your feet again. That's why our hospital is recognized year after year as a leader in patient satisfaction and quality of care. Jack Houston Memorial Hospital, excellence always. And now as we come back on the television side as well, Christian Television Network, the Pepsi Post Game Show here and the River Dragons 4-2 winners tonight over the Baton Rouge Zydeco. It's time for a final look back at the out-of-town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip. And Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. A final at Big Boy Arena tonight, the Motor City Rockers 6-4 winners over the Port Huron Prowlers. Danbury holds on in Elmira at First Arena. 3-2 hat tricks over the River Sharks tonight. At the Apex Center, it is just gone final. The Carolina Thunderbirds 5-4 winners over the Blue Ridge Bobcats in that one. And, boy, you thought yesterday was rough. How about a 10-0 shutout? for the Binghamton Black Bears over the Mississippi Seawolves tonight. Last night, Binghamton won that game 9-1 over Mississippi. Tonight, they beat them 10-0. Ooh, that's a rough road trip. In the NHL finals from earlier today, Red Wings 4-1 winners over the Buffalo Sabres. In overtime, the Senators 4-3 over the Islanders. Rangers beat the Penguins 7-4. Coyotes 4-1 over the Devils. Lightning hold on 5-3 over the Panthers. Late in the third, Flyers have the net empty, trailing the Bruins 6-5 with 48 seconds to go in that one. 
Blue Jackets beat the Sharks tonight, 4-2 year final, 5-2 Flames over the Canadians. In overtime right now, Hurricanes and Leafs are tied up at four. After two periods of play, Stars have stretched the lead out to 4-0 over the Kings. Blues up 1-0 on the Wild at the second intermission. And coming up here at the top of the hour, you've got Avs at Oilers, Predators at the Kraken, and the Capitals are at the Canucks. Men's college hoops on the hardwood here. Only one game still left going today. It's the ACC tournament final. Number four, North Carolina trails unranked NC State 52-48, but that's very early in the second half. Finals from earlier today, Big Ten Tournament semifinal game. Number three, Purdue upset by Wisconsin, 76-75. Number 13, Illinois in the other Big Ten Tournament semifinal, 98-87 winners over Nebraska. In the SEC Tournament, number 12, Auburn, 73-66 against by Mississippi State, who advanced to the final. And in the Big 12 Championship Final, number seven, Iowa State, 69-41 winners over number one Houston. That is a huge win for Iowa State right there. And the Big East Tournament final won by number two UConn, 73-57 over number 10 Marquette. That wraps it up for us here for the broadcast booth tonight. 4-2 River Dragons over the Baton Rouge Sinico. I want to say thanks to my crew for getting us through here this evening. A great crowd on hand here tonight for Faith and Family Night. Our thanks to Christian Television Network for also carrying the broadcast here tonight as well and of course our thanks on the youtube side at columbus river dragons and our radio audience 106.9 rocks all right we'll talk to you tomorrow don't forget it's a 405 matinee on a sunday here as the river dragons hosting the baton rouge Zydeco again tomorrow wearing special st patrick's day jerseys come on down and join us for the game tickets are available online right now through ticketmaster.com one more time your final river dragons for Zydeco 2 this is tom callahan saying good night good night Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons Hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zalbo Zip In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, the Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, First Franklin Financial, and Old School Barber Shop. This has been a presentation of Ignite Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use is prohibited without the express written consent of Ignite Sports and Entertainment and the Columbus River Dragons. This has been a presentation of the Columbus River Dragons.